Welcome to Friday Night Paper Fight over here on the Loading Ready Run Super Network. I'm Serge and joining me to Night. That's one word. <laughs> we are a team wheeler. Yep. <laughs> Thank Goodness for your it's Patreon to here. <laughs> Patreon.com slash loading ready run. <laughs> Thank you for your support. We couldn't do it without you. <laughs> and of course. Thank you. Our <laughs> sponsor. Sorry, I got something stuck in my throat. Tonight, cardkingdom.com com slash wheeler. And if you say button, please, you get a button small that reads <laughs> a constitutional monarchy of cards. My deck and opponent will be come the beneficiary of my will. Ooh! Wait. Yeah, no, I you accept. Said it. Wait, no. <laughs> oh, you don't want what I got. You got so many power. Yeah, but you also have to marry Kiefer. I mean, it sounds like all upside. Oh, you'd hate it. <laughs> I love it, but you'd hate it. <laughs> Fair. All right, what do we do tonight? Great. Well, uh, welcome to loadingreadyrun.com slash uh, LRR. Nope, that's not what I'm trying to say. We're playing Canadian Highlander <laughs> here. We have a four-player event. Uh, Nelson and Alex are, I assume, doing the same bit over in the friend zone. Word for you, word. Yep, word for word. <laughs> while you're going to watch Surge and myself uh, play some magic. We did the sponsor thing flawlessly. We did the Patreon oh, yeah. thing flawlessly. Um, and, of course, you already knew you could you know, uh, support us through Twitch. Uh, and YouTube and super thanks and all that jazz. Mm. Um, and yeah, shall we? Yeah, let's rumble. Great. Waiting for the camera switch. Smooth. You won the die roll, so you uh, I did. explain first. All right. Uh, I am bringing a deck that actually you inspired me to make. This is four color elementals, except on like the version you did, it's not also trying to be a cycling deck. And a lands deck. And a lands deck. It's got fast bond, but it's not a lands deck. That's just 2022 magic these days. Okay. Yeah, play elementals. Uh, tribal, very loosely, there's only two cards that actually care about other elementals. Mm -hmm. One is a shapeshifter, it doesn't really count. The other is Risen Reef, which is a card I have always wanted to play. Are you not playing the four mana Omnath and Rug? Yeah, but that doesn't really count as like a lord. But it literally does a thing for elementals. It only, it, only when it ETBs. Basically, I mean, I guess, that's yeah, okay, tribal. yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically tribal. Basically basically tribal. tribal. Yeah, I've got one lord. It's like brushfire elemental. It's terrible. <laughs> I got some bad news for you. That's not a lord. Oh, uh, maybe I got the other one wrong. It's a two mana, two, two. Uh, other elemental just get plus one, plus O. Oh. No? I know the one you're talking yeah, about. Whatever. What are your points, Serge? Oh, great question. My points are, I had 11. Somebody in my Discord caught it. Uh, Pod, Greeny Moxie, Spellseeker. Odd, Greeny Moxie, and Strip Mine. All right. Great. Yeah. Three plus three plus two plus two. Yeah. What you got? I'm playing Grixis Welder. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> it uses uh, Goblin Welder. We yeah. talked about this on North One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it uses Goblin Welders, Artifact Synergy cards. It's kind of like a hybridization of the Painter's Servant uh, decks in Legacy yep. and the eight cast decks in Legacy. And the Grixis Welder decks and yeah. Vintage. And now Legacy. Yeah. Um, all together. And I'm not doing any big shenanigans with sure. like Sundering Titans. I'm just looping like experimental synthesizers. Beautiful. And I'm drawing a bunch of cards and exiling your graveyard and all that jazz. So like pre-2022 Highlander, my favorite thing to do was actually that exact thing. Mm -hmm. Like there's not enough card density to do a one-for-one one of a deck that exists in Modern Legacy. Mm -hmm. But there are three that are kind of tangentially related, and yeah. I'm just going to smoosh these pieces together. That sounds cool as heck. Yeah, and Urza Saga exists now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, my points are Mox Jet, Mox Sapphire, Mox Ruby, 
and I believe transmute <laughs> artifact, but I'm not entirely sure. Well, if I'd known you were nine, I should have played that 11th point, then we'd be even. Oh, yeah, it would work yeah. out. Uh, and for no reason whatsoever, that lord is called Creeping Trailblazer. Okay. Yeah, that just it just came to me as in a Freever dream. Okay. Uh, breeding pool, go. Freever dream. Uh, let's Freever dream. Freever dream. <laughs> Roinks, Reggie! I'm yeah. going to play a volcanic island. Yeah. I'm going to play around nothing <laughs> and play a, the goblin. Oh, the, it's the, here! The goblin himself. Oh, I'm sure that on turn uh, go ahead. won't be bad for Surge. Uh, I'm going to do mean stuff. I'm going to strip mine you. Maybe I'll get somewhere. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a good noise. You strip mine your opponent and they make that noise. That means they have two or less hands. Okay. Two or less lands in hand. Uh, ponder. Sure. Hmm. I only get one of these? No, I get two of these. You hope I have two or less hands, chat? You should be hoping that I have like three hands. That'd be so sick. Old three hand wheel is what we used to call That's you. That's what they call me. So yeah, I, I made an order and I drew a card. Sure. Go to you. Mm. <laughs> three or less hands. Mm. Uh, you know they pay me to talk? <laughs> the problem is when your opponent is playing hand destruction. <laughs> Mm. Um, I've made some mistakes here. I had a strip mine, which didn't show up at the card reader, and I also have this ponder. My apologies. Thank you, chat. I'm going to play a Blood Crypt tapped. Mm. Yep. I'm going to play a Mox Jet. Mm. And I'm going to play a Chromatic Sphere. Um, now, Welder, it's not, I mean, they come in the, Welder they're, beats. They're in the same set. Welder Beats, let's go! Yeah! But, you know, all right, I go to 19. Same set as Mother of Ruins, but this one attacks. Mm. Go ahead. Although I attack, I, I've attacked with Mom. Everyone's attacked with so Mom. So much. Yep. Oh, God, get in there, right? Yeah. I'm going to play an Aaron Mesa, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to shortcut here slightly. I'm going to fetch and cast a Nature's Lore at the same time. Sure. So I'm going to go down to 18, and I'm going to grab a land that's untapped. And then this is going to find me a forest and put it into play. So the forest is going to get me a triome. Okay. For no reason whatsoever, I am grabbing the infinite, infinite tokens. Good. No reason. There's a whole bunch of cats down here. Okay. Uh, let's grab this Ketria triome, which is a forest. Sure. I love those old fetches. The ones that just say find a forest oh. as opposed to find a basic or yeah. whatever, you know? All right, and uh, say go to you. One tap. Drop. Good noise. Good noise. Oh, I just draw a new card that's really broken. Oh. Which is funny because I'm about to play another new card that is also really broken, now, but it's not the one I was talking about. Now, how new? Are we talking like the 40k commander deck new or drew, the last set? I drew new? my 40k card. Oh, basic swamp from the 40k deck. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to cast. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just welder beating. I'm going to cast Fable of the Mirror Breaker. So I make a... This is the other broken card I was talking about. I make a 2-2 two -two Gobbo that when it attacks, I get a treasure. Um, so I'm going to make up that token right now, and I'll attack you for one. And I'll pass. So hold on. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Create a 2-2 two -two Goblin token. This card's super busted? This oh, is yeah. the one that flips and turns into like a pseudo Kiki Jiki, right? Yeah, this card's not okay. Really? Yeah, not okay. Uh this was, I guess this was something that, I don't want to say we missed in the set review, but we missed in the set review? <gasps> oh, I believe if you'll check the tape, a certain someone was very high on this card. Was it me? I'm often known for my, my nailing of calls. No, I believe it was me. What? Yeah, it's okay. I, I was uh, low on Minsk and Boo, so <laughs> they all even out. Yeah. Ah, uh, man, imagine being wrong on North 100. No, <laughs> wouldn't be me. Yeah. Yeah. How do I not die here, Wheeler? Well, I don't know. You could start killing stuff on my board. Yeah. That's pretty good. I don't play removal. Mm. Uh, Bird of Paradise. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Sakura Tribe Elder. Let's get Steve down. Sure. And miss my land drop. Pass. Ooh, okay. Uh, so draw. 
This goes up to two. Surge yep. putting up a serious defensive barrier here. <laughs> I'm going to discard two cards. Okay. Uh, and draw up to that many. So I'm going to discard Collector Brutality and yep. Chaos Defiler. Oh, yep. Yeah. You love to see it. Uh, and I draw two. That's pretty good. Um. Tap three. I'm going to play Crucible. Oh, mm. My strip mine! I'm going to play uh, Valk out of my graveyard yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Um, Gross. I would like to activate Welder yeah. and swap this Mox Jet with this Chaos. I have a chaos response, defiler. though. Okay. Yeah, so you... Targeting, I'm targeting this. Yes, you sure are. Bra, bra, bra. Endurance! Oh! Exiling the Elemental Lord, Creeping Trailblazer that no one knew about. Okay. I would like to shuffle your graveyard away. Okay. So, uh, is sacrifice part of the cost? I can't remember how how I get you. The on that two one. cards have to be here because this Do the two cards have to be in the zone. Yeah, the they got to be in the same one, right? Yeah, you choose target uh, artifact and player controls, and target artifact in their graveyard. Right. And both targets are still legal as it resolves. They swap. Yeah, okay. So I don't yeah. I don't get you in the same way as it would be like um uh, like other things. Yeah, but that's you fine. do avoid um Yeah, yeah. Like getting, yeah. Losing this game immediately. Yeah. 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 All right, and then the, endurance dies. Yeah. The if they are both still there as it resolves, like you know, that's seems like an unusual clause to put in there. Yeah. Sp it's sort of specifically well, well, to stop it from getting sort of goozled by. Well, it's more so because it's the speed. old templating. Because I think new cards do have that. It's like as a cost. They they've updated it on the newer iterations of Goblin Wilder, yeah. but or like the newer uh, the functional replays. Yeah, basically. Goblin Engineer I think mm -hmm. is one of those. Yeah. All right, so you're attacking me with the two two. You're making yes, a treasure token. A treasure. Uh, I'm going to uh, block with Steve sure. and then sacrifice before damage, yeah. getting me a. Green, green, blue, blue, red, red. Uh, getting me an... Let's get a basic swamp. It's a snow-covered swamp. Sure. Right? Yeah, uh, you have a treasure. That's a forest. Did you... I looked at your lands oh, and gotcha, said swamp. Gotcha. I'm getting a forest. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm oh, four color, good. no black. Uh, I'm going to crack this and tap my land to cast a Baleful Strix. Yes. Uh, draw... Yes. And then I will pass. Okay. Would you like to cut? <clears throat> Fascinating. That is a Ketria Trium chat. Ketria Trium. Oh, organize our stuff in this direction. Uh, what do I do with my life here? I don't know. You like my weird little mouth motorboat noises? I'm used to it by now. Yeah, that's fair. So when this thing flips over, what does it do? It becomes a 2-2 enchantment creature. Yeah, and you're going to start can... just making Baleful Strix all day, every yeah, day? Yeah, I can give myself more Baleful Strixes, more Goblin Welders to keep drawing more cards off of Baleful Strix. More goblins to make more treasure. Fascinating. Copy this six-drop artifact creature in my hand. You know yeah. the usual. Yeah, as one as one does, of course. Yeah. I feel like the epic tale of the mirror breaker is just like, okay, let me tell you about this bull crap that happened last time. Mirror breaker came it's, over. It's here. appropriate that the ending of the story <laughs> was is like, and so it turns out Kiki Jiki was still broken. Yeah. Oh God, Even great. if you make him wait three turns. Yeah. How many? You got three cards in hand. I got three cards in hand. Man. Yeah. Card advantage. Stupid Baleful Strix. Yeah. All right, this is only going to get out of hand more so. So here's what we're going to do. Okay. Oko. Yep. Mm. And here's, I think, the weirder part. Okay. I'm going to make my bird an elk. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So Oko mm. is going to make the bird a 3-3. Three, three. Elk of Paradise. Yeah. <clears throat> Because I need a blocker, mm -hmm. and otherwise we're in a bit of trouble. And um, 
just because it's in my hand and you're tapped out, I'm going to play this beta fast bond. Sure. Okay, nice flex. Yeah, you know, just... just, just it's a very odd thing to flex against someone with a FBB Vulk and a... I mean, this is your mox, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, go ahead. This is a gift to myself at my first Vegas. It's a good buy. It's a good buy. Yeah. 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 I feel like that's a tradition for Canlander players. Every Canlander player I know that goes to a GP gets they, like a beta card. <laughs> uh, speaking of, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, this flips. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. So one tap your mana. Speaking of, okay. I just drew uh, a gift to myself <laughs> from from Vegas. I'll cast my beta signed oh, lightning yeah. bolt. Yeah. No, <laughs> oh, not my elk bird. Yeah, I'll get rid of your elk here. Yeah. Um, the bird tried to avoid getting bolted by turning into an elk. And it did no good. Well, it still had three toughness, unfortunately. Um, I am going to pay one and filter this into a red and draw a card. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I'm going to use that red and I'm going to cast Faithless. Later. Yeah, all right, all right. Oh, boy. Um... I'm going to discard Kappa Cannoneer Ooh. and Grindstone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should be dead here, right? No, you're not dead dead. I don't even know if Oko's dead. I mean, Oko's dead if I... Can't you double Kappa Cannon? Uh, you, you have a line. You have a no, line. this doesn't have haste. Oh, you yeah. can't activate it this yeah. turn. That's why I thought I was dead. Um... I would like to. God, this deck's hard to play. Mm. Um, so I, I like uh, Lur Lurbot messes up when he tries to write Capacan here. <laughs> you know what? Lurbot's just doing their best. I'm going to attack Oko with Baleful Strix. And attack you with my Kiki Jiki token. All right, you got a treasure token. Making a treasure. So any effects before damage? No. Nope. So I'm gonna take two. Oko is gonna take one. I am then going to spend a red. Oh, Jesus, this was a bad time to play this for the first time. Uh, I'm going to cast Voltage Surge, sacrificing this treasure. What'd you call me? I know. Uh, right. So additional cost, I can sack an artifact. It deals two to a creature or planeswalker. If I sack something, it deals four. So I'm going to kill the Oko. Oh, goodbye, Oko. And then I'm going to tap my Goblin Welder to uh, turn this Mox Jet into Kappa Cannoneer. Uh, trigger. Yeah. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on Kappa Cannoneer, and it cannot be blocked. Terrifying. I'm going to play a Blood Fountain. Yep. Uh, so it comes into play, comes with a uh, Blood Token, so I get two more counter yeah, counters. Yeah, you do. On the Kappa Cannoneer. Dude, I love this deck. And uh, I'm going to play this Watery Grave Tapped and Pass. All right, you have no cards in hand now? No cards in hand. All right, it, we're, all, it, we're all even right yeah, now. I nice. actually have the advantage. I have one card in hand. Nice and even. Okay, good. It's not good. <sighs> what is my route back into this game? All right, so for starters, mm -hmm. man, Kappa Cannoneer is just so thick. Yes, it's a big boy. Why? Why? Why is it so thick? So Savine's Wreck yeah. okay. is going to target Endurance. Okay. I think is the best I have right now. In that it slows down some of the bleeding. So target your graveyard, shuffle that away. And then pass with one card in hand. Okay. Untap. Draw. Now I'm in trouble. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe get into that shenanigans. It's like double Kappa Cannoneer with haste is horrifying, especially if you can play an artifact into it. Yeah. I didn't draw an artifact. 
I'm going to crack this blood token, discarding yep. a hull breacher to draw oh, a card. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty good card. Mm. I'm going to pay one and activate my reflection of Kiki Jiki to get me another Kappa candidate. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to write clone on here. Sure. So this comes into play. Yeah. It triggers off of itself. So it gets a counter and this gets a counter. Yep. So four and that. Um, and and both can't be blocked. Both can't be blocked. You yeah. Got one so card in hand. I have eight card in hand, and how much damage is this just by itself? That's eight, 13. 13, 13 unblockables. I'd like to go to combat. Yeah. I'm going to throw everybody into the pool. Yeah. This makes a treasure yeah. token, which causes yeah, these yeah, two yeah. to get buffed. All right, game yeah. two. All right. Ah, oh, man, what a cool deck. So it's weird. I look at your deck, and I immediately yep. want to build it. Yeah. Except I don't want to play any of the eggs. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. well, the eggs, I think the eggs are there because you need, like, they help you draw cards. Oh, they no, help absolutely. Fix your mana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Maybe it's just a weird um, aversion to eggs. Kind of, yeah. A bias of mine, if you would. Like maybe I, the what are the old uh, spell bombs? Maybe I could see myself running. Oh, I'm on, cool. oh, oh well, yeah, I'm on all those. Oh, yeah, not all those. I'm yeah, on yeah. Uh, the bounce one, the exile one, and the two damage. Uh, you know what I think it is? I think it's because Canlander players are basically only exposed to those eggs in the most degenerate styles possible. Sure, you when, don't really think of mid-range eggs or whatever? Well, it's just like, these eggs are really good in uh, affinity decks yep. and other artifact combo, not artifact combo, but artifact like grindy decks. Like they're just, they draw cards, they fix your mana. Sure, they're sure, cheap sure. Accelerants. Uh, yeah, even just like Mishra's Bobble. It's weird, cause are you, do you think of it in the same way as like uh, Gitaxian Probe? Like this is a free spell, it might synergize with stuff that I have. Yeah, exactly. Okay. They're, it's just I treat them like cantrips. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All my my card my card advantage is instead of using I mean I am on ponder and brainstorm. Sure, 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 sure. But sure, instead sure. of going as deep as like sleight of hand, here and visions or whatever, um, I'm using the eggs. That's you know cycle or like uh, experimental synthesizer is a good one. Mm. The, the Kamigawa one that makes a samurai. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So my, I definitely played my deck wrong. Uh, for whatever reason, I thought I needed to be on the back foot against you. I need to be aggressive. I need to come out swinging. Yeah. And I sequenced my hand as if I could ramp quickly. And then I missed that I missed that land drop, which was devastating too. So my yeah. whole like build-up play got set back as well. But that's fine. I've got plans. i got plans. I will take the play. Okay, no. Um... Yeah, we'll do a big keep here. I'll keep. All right. Good luck to you, my friend. Misty Rainforest, and go. Uh, Dark Slick Shores, go ahead. I'm going to crack end of turn here for a trop. While you're doing that, I'm going to answer two very quick questions. Sure. Um, oh, Arakazi, where did your question go? Uh, the answer was no. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> I forget what it was specifically, but it was like, mm, no. Uh, Cyber Drive Awakener. No, I'm not on Cyber Drive. Um, sure. I actually, that I, I got some controversial takes on that card. That's uh, right. It's not Huff. Mm. Um, oh, God, no. No, yeah. It, and just like, if it doesn't kill them, then I don't know how keen I am to actually play it. Sure. Um, and then I am on Arkham's Astrolabe. Is that another? The snow, the snow egg. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, would you like to cut? Oh, uh, you're good. Brainstorm. So this is still your end step? Sure. What a hand. All right. Untap. Draw for the turn. Mm -hmm. uh, Savannah. Say go. Vault of Whispers. Mm. I would like to cast Ledger Shredder. Yep. I would like to cast Mox Opal. Trigger. Hmm. Uh, so it's already triggered this one turn. It can't trigger more than once. Unless you play two spells. 
And if I play two spells, then, then it, it would have four toughness when it resolves, because it's on the second cast. It's currently a 1-3? It's currently a 1-3. I'm going to respond. Okay. This is like really bizarre sequencing. Is this even good? Yes, that has to die. <laughs> that has to die. That has to die. Sorry, give me a brain sure. second here. Yeah, I'll use it to answer <laughs> another yeah. question. Uh, initially, I did Cyber Drive Awakener is a hoof is hoof in the egg or the artifact version of hoof, but it's not the free roll. It's not as much of a free roll as we thought it would be. Like it's like hoof. It's it's hoof if we're talking about the hoof deck, but. It's not hoof if we're talking about like the Bant mid range. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you don't, have to commit. Yeah, you build around it. It's not an auto include. You're like, ah, oh, your deck has a density of artifacts. Yeah. Ergo, you should play this. You're yeah. like, no. Yeah. You need to. You need yeah. to go hard. All right, I thought of a different line, and I have to do this line. So in response, we have the triggered ability on the stack. Sure. Uh, I'm going to cast an Ice Fang Quartal. Okay. Uh, that is going to draw me the top card of my deck. Sure. And I am going to flash in fury. Exiling Omnath. Uh, so this is the top card of my deck. Why are you flashing it? In? Can't I do the evoke? Oh, this you one doesn't have flash. This one doesn't have flash. I thought they all had flash. No, just, I thought they all had flash. No, no, no. The black one and the red one don't oh, have flash. Oh. I didn't want, know that. You want to rewind that? No. I mean, I'm going to play this end of turn anyways. Okay. It's going to have four toughness. Sure. And uh, I'm only going to play one spell, so it it'll have... It'll be a 1-4, and I can just kill it my next turn. Uh, so I'm going to discard this Chaos Defiler, <clears throat> and it gets a counter. Yeah. Um, Fury just, it takes a little bit of time to, to build up. Yeah. And I will pass. Yeah. Fury, Interesting. It's still very good. Yeah. yeah. Neat. <clears throat> As a quick reminder, uh, what what's, does Connive do? Uh, so you draw a card and then discard a card, and if you discarded a non-land card this way, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on whatever connives. So I looted, and because I discarded a non-land, my Ledger Shredder gets a 1-1 one, one counter. I'm going to take a completely different line. Okay. Uh, Realm Walker. Sure. Oh, I don't reveal it. Stop, don't look. Ooh. Unfortunately, I know what it is. No, you don't. Okay. <laughs> you didn't see a thing, okay? Okay. Uh, I choose um, Elemental, by the way. Yeah. Uh, reveal the top card? No. Okay. <laughs> I asked nicely. I refuse. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say go. Draw. Uh, volcanic Islet. Mm. Mox Jet. Yeah. Trigger. But is that your second spell for the turn? No, it's not. Uh, I'm sorry. That's, I'm that's gonna, fine. I'm yeah, going to yeah. play this second yeah, spell. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to Mox Jet yeah. and then play this Bray's Apprentice. Yep. Yeah. My bad. Please don't cancel me. Uh, I get a 1-1 one, one colorless Thopter token. Second artifact. Tell top card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This card's sweet. I was skipping steps because I'm about to cast I know, a, I know. a big boy. So now I, I connive. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to discard a Hull Breacher. Ooh. This gets a counter. Yep. Um, I'm going to cast an Urza's Bobble. That's the big boy right there. Yep, that's the big one. Yeah. Watch out. Uh, then I'm going to cast one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. Thought Monitor. Ooh, that is a big one. Let's draw two. He's popping off. Oh, that's an interesting draw. Um. Combat. Yeah. Three. Yep. I'll go to 16. Go ahead. How do I not die? Well, for starters, uh, I'm going to cast Endurance, which okay. I just apparently always have in every game we play. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get rid of your graveyard for the third time in two games, yeah. fourth time in two games. Uh, it's can't let it. This happens. Yeah. Um, how much does this need to die? Like right this very second. Sack an artifact. You don't really. You don't have a recruiter online right now, so I'm not as worried. 
You have two cards, three cards in hand. Three cards. Yeah. I mean, if you got a recruiter, you got a recruiter. You mean a welder? If you got a welder, you got a welder. Mm. Truly wise words. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and say go. On top. Yeah. Drop. Okay. Very excited to see this card show up. Mayhem Devil. Ooh! That is so impossibly cool for this list. Whenever a player sacrifices a permanent, yeah. one damage to any target. Yeah. I'm going to cast. Mishra's ball. Yeah. Trigger. Yeah. Yes, Wheeler. <laughs> um, I'm going to discard a blood fountain. Sure. So this comes into play. Um, this gets a counter. I'm going to... All your creatures have such big butts. Except for this Ice Fang Quattle. Yeah, I'm going to kill that one. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, I guess. Show me a random card in your hand, please. I'm going to ping this. Wait, is that how that works? Yeah, so I choose, uh, I look at a random card in your hand. Oh, it's and random. And I draw a card at the beginning of uh, the next turn's upkeep. I want to see that one. This one? That one. You sure? Yeah. Subtlety. Subtlety. Yeah. Not, not my specialty. Um, okay. Combat. Mm. This has reach. Oh, I know. Oh, you're attacking with 1-1 one, one anyway. Uh, I might attack with this one, too. No, just these two. <sighs> one sacrifice, two sacrifice. That's a third damage. Where's the where's the next sacrifice? Where's the onboard trick here? There, well, the only things I have on board is winged as Yeah, and this can pump the power by sacking an I artifact. Yeah, I sack an artifact, give target creature plus two plus zero. Yeah, so you could theoretically trade with the uh, the endurance yep. if you did two things. I will not block and take one plus four, which is five, and puts me to eleven. Sure. All right. No effects. No effects. I go to eleven. Second main. All right. Inventor's fair. Oh, man. And I'll cast Fable the Mirror. No! Make a gobbo. And I will pass. And you will pass. In your upkeep, I have an effect. Draw yes. off Urza's Bobble. Yes. So I got the Catch Free Triumph again. It comes into play tapped. I'm very okay. sad about that. All right. Is there a way that I can sequence this and make it work the way I want to? I think the answer is no, and that makes me very upset, eh? Let me know just in case I'm missing it here. Okay. I've got uh, Flicker, Wisp, and, Fli and Fury. Yeah. And I can't make this work any way I want because no. neither of these is Flash. Correct. Yeah. That makes me very sad. It makes me, right. They're both sorcery speed. If either yeah. of these, yeah. Derp. Of course not. But you can see what I'm trying to do here. I get what you're. I'm picking and up what you're I'm trying to slow down. it down. Yeah. 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 I mean, All right. Well, we need to stem this bleeding a little bit here. Flicker Wisp can reset the ledger trigger. That's what I've been holding it for, because yeah. I've got the Flicker Wisp, I've got the Fury, which is why I decided not to kill it immediately, because the clock isn't that spooky. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'm probably just casting Fury yeah. uh, by exiling Omnath. Okay. So this is going to come into play. Mm -hmm. I've got four damage. Yeah. I kill the uh, Mayhem Devil, and I'm also going to target the 1-1 one, one Thopter. So three on this, one on this. Correct. Uh, I'm going to respond. I imagined you would. <laughs> I'm going to tap this and sacrifice this token, uh, pinging you okay. for one. I go to ten. And I'm going to exile the top card of my deck, and I can play it until the end of my next turn. Oh, Faithless Looting. What it's a hit. A, it's a flute. 
Uh, and then I'm also going to crack this mm. Urza's Bauble. Yep. Um, targeting your top card. Actually, hold on. I'll uh, I'll show the audience as well. Sure. It's a. Let me know when it's on the card reader. It's on the card reader. Air so chat. Going. Tell me your favorite flavor of ice cream, real quick here. I'd Text like... to chat activated. Crucible of worlds registered. Wait. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> no. Don't make me look. <laughs> I'm trying not. To, I'm not supposed to know. All right. I would tell you to psych you out. Um. So I get hit again, again. with that one, right? Yep. So I'm down to nine. Yep. Um. And then that resolves. Okay. Killing this. Yep. Now the evoke trigger dies, yeah. it goes away. Uh, then three mana, white, white, and one. I'm mm -hmm. going to cast Flicker Wisp. Sure. And I'm going to reset your Ledger Shredder. Sure. So like, that was like an okay stabilizing turn. Man, yeah. this came on tap though. It's a whole different it's a whole different game. A whole different ball game. It's a whole different ball game. Uh single. Uh, so this comes back at my end step. Yep. Or your end step, brother. Yep. Uh, untap. Upkeep, draw off Mishra's Bubble. Draw for turn. And I gain one off of Venner's Fairy. Yep. And then I have this Fable. Two. Uh, I'm going to discard Watery Grave and Inquisition of Kozilek mm. to draw two cards. Yep. They're at nine. He says like he can kill me. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Wait, no. <laughs> I wish I knew my deck a bit better, but... Cards in hand? Uh, deuce. <clears throat> and you know one of them. You know it's a subtlety. I know it's a subtlety. I'm going to cast... No. Four. I'm going to crack Inventor Sphere to tutor oh, for yeah. a card. Oh, this is bad. He can find any artifact in his deck. Good enough. Could probably kill you. I don't have, like, I don't necessarily want to. Oh, that's kind of hot. Mm. Never mind. It's not quite a hot. Kind of oh. hot. <laughs> oh, that's kind of hot. I think I'm going to grab Crucible of Worlds. Interesting. You like Urza's Saga that much. You're kind of setting up the engine. That reminds me of the old intuition lines of like Crucible, Life from the Loam Academy, right? You're yeah. like, okay, neat. I don't think any of my ways of pushing through damage this turn are actually good. Sure. And so I will instead set up a way to kill you the next turn. That's or fair. try to kill you yeah, the yeah, next yeah. turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can respect that. You're good. Um, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, Lotus Petal. Yes. I'm going to play my land for the turn. Yes. I'm going to sack the Lotus Petal and tap two to cast Crucible, Ledger Shredder Trick. Correct. I'm going to draw a card and then discard my Duress. It's a very pretty Duress. Oh yeah. Uh, Didn't quite show up on the card reader, but it's very pretty. Look at how pretty this dress is. It's yeah. foil, too. Yeah. Mm. And only a dollar from cardkingdom.com. Uh, so wow, this really? Comes into play. Yeah, they're dirt cheap. Huh. Uh, comes into play, and then I already played my land. I don't have a great attack. Well, kind of have a good attack. I'll attack with the goblin token and make a treasure. Yeah. God, he does have a good attack. Well, hate... it's reasonable. I don't know if good might be a stretch. I hate that for you. <clears throat> I wonder if it's worth trading my flicker with blood. I think the answer is yes. I'll put the flicker whisk in front of it. Sure, good trade. Right. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. All right. Hey, we lived a turn. Love that for you. Thank you. Good gravy. Goodness gracious gravy. Tap and sack. Uh, 
so if I do that, let's me see an extra card. I think this is maybe the best play. Uh, let's welcome Kahina to the battlefield. Kahira. Kahira to the battlefield. This is a 3-2 friend to elementals. It's a, it's a cat. Yeah. Each other creature you control that's a cat, an elemental, and doesn't really matter, gets plus one, plus one, and notably it has vigilance, mm -hmm. which is uh, kind of cool and good. Mm -hmm. So this now has five toughness and four power. And I think I shove. I think I attack for um, seven. <clears throat> I'm going to block here. And before damage, I'm going to activate Brea's Apprentice, sacking the treasure to get mm. plus two, plus zero. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, but I take four here. Yeah. So 17. My attack wasn't as free. That's fine. I have to do something. Go. Uh, untap. Draw. This flips. Mm-hmm. Reflection of Kiki Jiki, which might not come up. Uh, one. Preordain? Mm. Oh, that's a good one. Top one, bottom the other. Draw. Um, tap two, play. Oh, this is what my tenth point was. I forgot. Wish Claw Talisman. Oh, really yeah. Good with welders. Very good with welders. Or with anything that looks to sack. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fantastic. So I'm going to play this Wish Claw. And I'm going to pay one and activate oh, Wish Claw Talisman. Use it right now. And I'm going to hold priority. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. I, I have Connive Trigger because this was the second sure, spell. Sure, 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 um, sure. You tap Black Black for it. Sure. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, whatever. Yeah, it'll end up being the same. Uh, can I have Trigger? Uh, uh, sorry, Trinket Mage. Goodbye, Trinket don't Mage. Right yeah. Um, which makes this get bigger. I'm going to activate this and then uh, hold priority and yep. tap my Braze Apprentice to sacrifice it to. We're at nine. Yes. <laughs> I do like the, it's like, I have this lamp that grants three wishes, but the second wish has to be done by somebody else. I'm going to get one wish, then throw the lamp into it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> put it right into the bin. Yeah, it's like, all right, I'll do one wish and then throw the lamp in the lava. I'm going to give Thought Monitor plus two plus zero. Okay. So wish call. It's basically a demonic tutor, right? You can find anything? Yeah. Anything. That's pretty hot. Can we just take a second to appreciate how impossibly cool Wheeler's List is here? I don't have to show no you. No way! <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna Dude! Get you have dunked on me so many times for Duretti. That is one of my pet. I love that Duretti. I'm going to play this land and fetch it. You know, it's funny. I played, when I played Aristocrats at a weekly, yeah. um, Duretti was my least favorite card in that deck, oh. too. But this one, it was one of the first cards that I... Oh, yeah. yeah. I lo it, especially in this attrition style, like, out of your graveyard deck. I've played it in uh, prison decks. Oh, it kills everything. It slices, it dices. Yeah. I have this Faithless looting that's just XO. It's gone forever, yeah. That's yeah. fine. Didn't need it. Well, I take it you're going to sacrifice an artifact land and kill my endurance? Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, that sucks for me. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get this Vault of Whispers out of here to get the Endurance out of the yeah, play, and then I'll attack you for uh, seven in the air. And then wow. I'll, then I'll pass. I'm in a lot of trouble. All right, deck. Well, actually, I know what the top card is because I looked before, and it's an Enter's Play Tapped Land. Mm. Uh, and that's a, uh, that's a Dead Surge. All right. Yeah. Ooh. And it is 5.51. Do you think we have time for one more? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Let's shuffle it up. Let's keep going. These have been quick games. So These have been sweet games. I have, I, I've been on the record for saying this before we played these games. So it mm. does, I, I don't want this to come off me looking like too much of a dirtbag. Um, I think that 
once the proper core for this deck is found out, because this is still very much like a first oh, yeah, build, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think once we figure out what this looks like when we get closer to a stock list, I think this could be one of the top five decks in the format. Oh, it's very powerful. Like it's, it's very just, impressive. The removal's well, so good. Your card draw is constant. You got disruption. The the Ledger's Ledger... Ledger... Ledger Shredder. Yeah. Ledger Shredder is yeah. a card that I probably would have slept on for that. But, mm -hmm. like, what an amazing replacement for, like, old looters that were bad. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to a new looter that's going to kill you. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> you have just a bunch of good stuff cards. Your synergy cards are stronger. Um, you just have more artifact lands. And you get... Um, a bunch of broken cards that also just make artifacts. Yeah. Like Rogavon. Yeah. <laughs> I get to play Rogavon. Oh, well, we haven't seen the Rogavon start no, yet. No, not yet. I have it, noticed there's been very similar games so far. Like, I've had Endurance every game. Yeah. You've had Ledger Shredder every game. Welcome to Highlander. Yeah, you put right? a new card in your deck and you don't see it for three months. <laughs> yeah, the, the, uh, the, the sort of thing that they've been doing for the last couple of years with having, you know, uh, you got your clue tokens, you got your... Uh, yeah. your treasure, your blood, you know, all of the sort of like little incidental tokens are just also artifacts, mm -hmm. uh, but, which totally uh, uh, has effect, you know, has a, anything that is in favor of lots of little artifacts coming into play uh, has totally changed. There's a, and I think there's a green version of this that we talked about. God, I want to build Rutstein that so bad. I need to make it one of these times, like yeah. a food clues yeah. matter decks. And I think there's a white one too, where I would actually play an equipment package with like Cauldra Complete, Skull Clamp, Stone Forge. I'll keep this. Um, some extra juice too. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'll keep this. Yeah. Uh, good luck, friend. Good luck. Gonna lead with a Jetmere's Garden. Mm -hmm. I'll just put that on the card right here. So many colors and say go. <clears throat> Spire Bluff Canal. Yeah. Mox Ruby. Ooh. Yeah. Icker Wellspring. Oh, baby. Uh, draw a card. Go. Let's go to 18 Temple Garden, mm -hmm. untapped, into a Voice of Resurgence. Mm. Say go. Draw. I will play a Chromatic Sphere. Yeah. And an Emery Lurker of the Lock. Ooh, yeah. So Mill 4, Island, Trinket Mage, Experimental Synthesizer, and that stupid Chaos Defiler again. Go ahead. Attack for two. 18. Oh, we're on the board. <laughs> we're doing it. We're doing it, Mom. We're doing it. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what? You're okay. You're okay. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Wow, thanks, Wheeler. First thing from mom. All right, I'm gonna play a Polluted Delta. Mm -hmm. Two mana, I'm gonna cast Farseek. Yep. And I'm going to find another Triome. Okay. Probably the um, the same one I always get. Okay. Uh, the Ketria Triome. Yes. And say, go. Okay. <clears throat> Draw. Do you know that my deck plays removal? Really? <laughs> I know. Bold I'm strategy. shocked too, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna activate Emery and cast Experimental Synthesizer. Yeah, this is one that gets you Samurai or whatever? Yeah, when I crack it. So when it comes into play or leaves play, I exile the top card of my deck and I can play it until end of turn. And then it has the activated ability of paying three, sack it, make a two, two Samurai. So I'm gonna exile this Fatal, oh, that doesn't go away yet. Exile this Fatal Push, which is not that great. Um, you're fine. I'm going to filter into a black with my chromatic sphere to draw a card. That was a good draw. Uh, I'm going to use that black to cast a rest. Oh, all right. With Seiju, Iganjo. <laughs> yeah. Brainstorm, Ramanap Excavator. Well, I'll take the Brainstorm. All right. I got the Ramanap, huh? Uh, I'm going to play my land for the turn, which is an underground sea. And I think I just want to get this card off the table. I'm going to fatal push your, your voice. Pew. Go ahead. I'm going to end of turn crack into another triome. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> What's that? More triomes, you say? More triomes. More triomes. 
can't be more trials. He <clears throat> uh, can't keep getting away with this. Rogram trium. All right. So my mana is now perfect. Mm -hmm. This is currently an 1-1. One, one. Cards in hand? Five. What? Yeah. What is the... <laughs> okay. Would you like to cut? You're not. You're good. Draw for the turn. Fascinating. Whoa, back Betty. Ram and app. Ram and app excavators in play. I'm going to play the polluted delta. I am a lamb. And then I'm just going to go ahead and um, no, bolt Emery. No, my Emery. All right, attack you for two. Yep. Six. Go. Emery. It's a sweet bolt. Thank you. Paul didn't say my bolt was sweet. I mean, I'm, I, I mean that one surges is is just uh, I haven't seen that art before. That's the that's the full art. Yeah. Fancy one. Uh, I'm gonna pass. Crack. The, ba the, the beta oh. bolt is very nice. Am I getting but... stifled? No, much worse. You're getting foil full art German opposition agent, baby. You are at 19 now. Or 16. Look, the cops are coming after me. That play was so spicy. All right, so you get to go find a land, a blue or a black source? Yeah. I don't know if I've ever actually been opposition agent. Well, and... I control you while you're searching your library. And while you're searching your library, I exile each card you find, and I can play those cards as long as they remain exiled. All right, well, take a, take a peek. It doesn't say you control them searching their library. It says you control them while they're searching their library. Well, I mean... So, you know... Let's just cut out the middleman here, Paul. In addition to searching the library, but... but you control surge as long as the library searching is happening. You don't just have to. It's not just library oh, stuff you can control. You can control anything. So now, how is the wording on this? You can play it. Yeah. But is it an exile until your turn? Like, what's the actual timing that allows you to play it? Uh, I still have to obey timing. Okay. <laughs> obey. <laughs> All right. So this was your end step. Yeah. That I cracked this. Yeah. All right. Rude. All right, so this goes back to me now, right? Yeah. All right, untap, untap, draw for the turn. Fascinating. <clears throat> I was really hoping, I was really, really hoping, I have a phantasmal image in my deck, mm. that I was going to copy it and then be able to get you back, you know? Yeah. Um, but, you know, you know how it would be. Mm-hmm. Uh, attack you for four. Uh, I will click off this low battery warning. Ooh, that's and, exciting. Uh, take four, going to 12. Yeah. Second mm -hmm. main, I'm going to play this waterlogged grove. This mm -hmm. is one of the cycle lands. Yep. Um, and then I am. I'm just going to go ahead and pass. Sure. And tap. Sure. That good, eh? Well, we land. I'm gonna play your Volk. Okay, fair. Tough but fair. Tap three. Psy Master Thopterist. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm gonna cast an Urza's Bauble trigger. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, Psy Master Thopterist. That's right. Psy Master Thopterus. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, I'll create a 1 1 thingy. Yeah, okay. Fascinating. So I get a Thopter? Hate that. Yeah. You got two cards in I hand? I have two cards in hand. I'm going to cast. Yeah. Ooh. I'm going to cast Unholy Heat with Delirium uh, to deal six to your Ramanap Excavator. No. I'm small now. I'm small now. Uh, go. End step. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and uh, cycle this waterlogged grove. Sure. Fascinating. Untap. Draw for the turn. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a good get. Oh, in your draw step. I'm going to crack this or is this bobble? Okay. 
Uh, I look at a card at random in your hand. Come on, not a Ganjo or Besaju. That one. No. Oh. All right. Carry on. I wonder if end step I was actually supposed to uh, Besaju you. Wait, what was that card? Oh, Urza's Bauble? No, what was the card that searched? Oh, hey, Ganjo. Ganjo, Seat of the Empire. Yeah, this is a card that we already knew that but I had. But I already, yeah. Known information. There was no new information gathered from that. Uh, all right, I need to be aggressive. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to uh, besage you. You might want to read that card. Artifact, enchantment, or non-basic land. I knew that. I knew that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course I knew that. Sorry, of course I knew that. Everybody I'm going to play this Besaju. Okay. <laughs> of course I knew that. <laughs> Why wouldn't I know that? Of course. Uh, three mana, blue, blue, and one. I'm going to cast Muyan Ling. Oh, my queen. Yeah. All right. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and say, until your next turn, up to one target creature gets plus, minus two, minus O, oh, and loses flying. Let's make that a one, two. Sure. My dinky opposition agent. Puts her to four. Actually, no. I'm going to make it the Thopter. My, I apologize. My dinky Thopter. Your dinky little Thopter. That's Me. okay. Because I want you to attack with this. I want you I want you to be like, look, the shields are down. Okay. Come on in, Wheeler. The water's fine. That Agonjo still costs three, though. I know. Okay. I know. Okay, great. But, you know. Yeah. Go ahead. Untap. Uh, draw. Mox jet. Yes. Make a thopter. Yes. Wish claw talisman. Make a thopter. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, I love your deck! <laughs> um, oh my god! I'm going to activate this Wish Claw yeah. Talisman uh, by paying one. Hold priority. Go to pay two to sack two artifacts to draw a card to Psy. The other yeah. artifacts are the Acre Wellspring. Yeah! So Wellspring goes to the graveyard, I draw a card. Okay. And then... Size ability resolves, I draw a card. Mm. And then Wish Claw resolves, I tutor for any card. I think I might be in trouble here. Just just a little bit. Uh, I guess I'll... I cut to a four drop. Sure. So I guess I'll go with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, combat. Yeah. Go to attack... We on link for one. Oh. Okay. Goodbye. Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> and then I will pass. All right. Untap. Draw for the turn. Oof. Oof. Play this fetch land. Oh, no. Um, we're going to minus three and make ourselves a four, four elemental. It's a blue four, four elemental creature token with the, flying. The bird. Uh, do you just want to pass me a... Uh, I have a lot of elemental tokens, but I don't have a bird elemental token. Mm -hmm. So it's a four, four. It's blue. Beautiful. It's a bird. Mm -hmm. uh, any questions? Um, when did you graduate from art school? Never ask a streamer his age. Oh my god. What did I do wrong here? You're older than 25? Wow, you're ancient. Yeah. How are you still alive? Oh, I, yeah. Does that hurt to breathe? Go. Of course, it's, this is a 4-4 bird, so it's very large. But, oh, in, oh. but in the picture, uh, that's, we're, we're quite far away. Yes, of course. Here, I'll draw a person. I'll draw a wheeler for scale. Oh, no. There, there, there's Wheeler. So this probably wasn't the best tutor target, but because I think Nelson might be watching, uh, Tezzeret, Agent of Bolas. 
I also think this card is just good. Let's go! Um, do so. you know when I when I sleeved at BattleBots the last time? Wait, I don't know if we've done that publicly. My two Planeswalkers were Tezzeret and and the uh, the same one you played the last game. Oh, Doretti. Doretti. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to uptick. Uh, yeah. I'm going to reveal a Silver Bluff Bridge. Yeah. Yeah. It's any order, but I don't care for these cards. Mm. I wonder what Tezzeret is up to these days with... Bolus. Uh, he's on Kamigawa. Or he out, was. Out of, out of commission. Uh, I'm going to play this bridge. Yeah. I'm going to play a Nile Spellbomb. Make oh, a bird. Yeah. And then I'm going to pass the turn. I'm going to attack Tezzeret. I'm going to block with a Thopter token. That's very rude of you, but that's fair. Um, we're going to go ahead and plus three. Mm -hmm. Plus three. Whatever. Plus, plus two up to three and say, no. Okay. You don't get to do anything right there. Okay. And then... Uh, Is that a banned noodle? It might have been. Yeah, it's like, if I do that, that's ah, fine. Whatever. Welcome. Noodle. It's the danger bird. Noodle. Yorian is going to... I mean, I wish I could get more value yeah. out of you, Mu Young Lin, this turn, but so it goes. Go to my end step. Look. Doesn't it lower its load? Oh, that would actually make it worse, <laughs> yeah, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, just... so we'll just not do that. Yeah, yeah. Boo! Whatever. Uh, untap. Draw. Two cards? Yeah. Uh, Inquisition of Kozol, well, the other one's uh, three visits, which is very good right yeah, now. Yeah, I'll take the three visits. Yeah, so goodbye, my three visits. Uh, yeah, I've got a fetch line in play. I've got an eight ganjo, and uh, and that three visits. I'll oh play my retro god! Retrofitter fan. Yeah, game. yes, yes. I'll play a soul guide lantern. Yeah, which I guess exiles a thing in your graveyard. What do you want to hit? Ram and Apex excavator. Yeah, that's fair. That's probably um, one of my uh, and I make another bird. My better outs, you know birds, but that's okay. I'm going to minus four Tezzeret here. Yeah! Uh, and How drain much? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Oh, it's so elegant! All right, my friend. Wow! And you had... <laughs> I had a Raghavan and an Arc... I had two banned oh. cards. Oh! Oh! I love banned, it. Banned, yeah. Dude! I love your deck. I think it's a lot of fun to play. Yeah. And I think it's probably pretty good. Yeah, just gotta figure out the you know the numbers and all that. Can I have my duel back? I'm sorry, you lost. And I'm keeping the mocks. Well, folks, thanks for watching round one. Uh, we have Nelson versus Alex for round two, and we'll be right back after a very short commercial break. Don't go away. Welcome back. It's time for us to play some magic without making very good orange plays this was fun <laughs> almost <laughs> we're not we're not surge or wheeler but we are wizards and we're going to have a battle you won the die roll i did i'm going to play first i'm playing uh, my friend angel's black white vampire tribal deck my points are Mox Jet, Mox Pearl, Umazawa's Jete, and Strip Mine. Hey, I have the same spread, except like um, Emerald instead of Pearl. Oh, nice. <laughs> ah, I see. It's, it's almost like 2020 the... green cards have pulled you in. All right. That's fair. Okay, good luck to you, Alex. To you as well. All right. Uh, okay. We're not going to talk about that. No, we're not. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. I'm going to start with this Mox. And cast Shadow Alley Denizen. Oh, that's the one that uh, it gives some. Um, what is it? it? Intimidate. It's like new fear. Right. Yeah. That's so whenever one. I a black creature enters the battlefield, not when I cast. Right. Whenever a black creature enters the battlefield under my control, target creature gains intimidate. You got it. Back to you. And I played a Goblin Shrine. 
Ain't no gods. Uh, I have to play this polluted delta and pass, unfortunately. Okay, I've got a concealed courtyard. Yeah. And what courtyard? Right. Where? Someone said court said courtyard. I'll just cast Legion Lieutenant and attack for two. Gotcha. Biff, boof. Back to you, friend. Uh, I'll fetch this end of turn. Eight. I want. Down by the bayou. Or no, actually, over on tomb. Nice. And good. Untap. Draw. Um, I'll fetch this into. A swamp or mountain? Now I think I want to go down by the bayou. Excellent. Could get some spicy food, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna play a vampire. <laughs> awesome. Love this match. That that doesn't say all vampires, does it? Other vampires I control. Darn. Although you, you are kind of shutting down the shadow alley, Denison, with a good block yeah. with black creature. So I feel like some that. small part of our removal is gonna be blanked against one another. So it's probably that should it's be interesting. probable. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I have options. Oh, this is pretty good. Okay, let's cast Liliana, the Last Hope. Okay. And then I will shrink your gifted Etherborn. So an O2. You may have, you may have vampires, but my vampires will be the only ones with power. So this is. I have a two-two and a two-two attacking okay. you. That's an ass kicking. I gotta four take four damage. Two, three, four. Okay. Back to you. Play a Wasteland. Grafted war gear. Oh, nice. Suit him up. Yep. Uh, let's kill this Liliana. Well, you're minus two power still because it's until my next turn. Oh, next turn. So uh, you do have three power. You can you can chip her down to one if you like. Yeah, I think that's probably still the play. And, then and I gain, gain three. three life. Nice. One, two, three. Man, that effect right. lasts longer than I thought. Yeah, it's a big one. Tap. Okay. God, Graf to Warrior slaps. Yeah, it's a good card. I'm a fan. It's very uncomfortable, but... It's great for everybody except the creature that's wearing the war gear. I but... mean, it's a moment of glory for them, too. We'll shrink the yep. war geared creature that we were just mentioning. You like it. You love it. You need it. And then we'll attack for two. Yeah. Uh, 18. And cast this Welcoming Vampire. This is a new one. Greetings! Welcome. Nice. Stay a while for some reason. Uh, go ahead. Well, the welcoming vampire is Deckard Kane. I don't know why. I don't make the rules. Thinking. Friend of trivia chat. You'll love this grafted board gear. You won't be able to live without it. I like that. <laughs> yeah. I see what you did there. Yes. What a problem. Uh, I'm going to try to kill this Liliana. Shadow Alley Denizen wishes to keep Liliana alive. I'll gain three off of that. Sounds good. One, two, three. So that worked out okay. Um, I think what I want to do is cast this Bone Picker for one. These. Then I think I want to cast this Deathrite Shaman. Nice turn. And I will play a Go, which is a way of passing the turn. I'm going to untap you, now. You do a little mini game. That's right, head. a little mini game of Go in your head. Um, like black, white, <laughs> black, white, 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 black. Okay, pass. <laughs> it's like a three by three grid. The games go real fast. Awesome. I'll cast this Stoneforge Mystic. Dang. And then which one is this? Like the version? It's Eternal, or no, not Eternal Masters. Double Masters, Double Masters I think. Yeah. There's so many new arts of these like yeah. staples that I've completely lost track of them. This one looks pretty cool though. Hey, yeah. this art's sweet. How about my double sword? Nice work, Dan Dos Santos. Well done. Uh, I'll draw a card from Welcoming Vampire first, and then search my library and shuffle. He's got no hue. No hue. 
Or no saturation. Okay. Yes, that's right. And now I'll look for uh, an equipment. Master Masters? Mm. It's like you buy a 15 card booster, but it's actually like 15 boosters. Right. Every every pack is also a box of cards. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a good one in here, so probably I should just get that we one. Could do, we should Double do a draft action. of, like, boxes. Okay. So, like, first pack is, like... You have to, you know, sh shuffle through them and be like, oh, do I want to take, like, this box of Kamigawa or this box of what have you. Right. But then you have to draft those the, the packs inside the boxes with everybody else, right? Yeah. Okay. Like, I first you have to send around the box and everybody picks which pack from that box they're going to open in the draft. Just need to back up as many steps as possible and just add as many more draft you. mechanics okay, so as possible. You, you, you do a, um, a rotisserie of... The LGSs. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you draft the LGSs. Everybody has to bring back a box from the LGS that they chose. Some of you are going to be driving for a while. Yep. This is a good hey, idea. Everybody, you draft uncut sheets. Yeah. Y'all didn't, <laughs> didn't know that Road Quest Two was actually just going to be an F and PF. Yeah. Um, On I'll, paper and printer's ink is what we're drafting. <laughs> play this planes. Yep. And cast this Jitte. Uh, I don't like Jete. No, no one likes Jete. The Jete. It's no fun. Okay. Uh, we'll shrink the... I don't know, what the heck. Who are we shrinking here? Probably... Yeah, Bone Picker. We'll shrink Bone Picker. So it's a 1-2? Yeah, it'll still be a 1-2 Flying Death Touch. Back to you. No, wait, 1-1? One, one? Is it it's minus 2 minus... It's minus 2 minus 1. Okay, oh, so okay. it's a 1-1. Okay, one one. Sorry, it yeah. has two toughness for some reason. Back okay. to you. Golly gosh, I am so relieved that I saved this. Um, I'm gonna exile my bloodstain mire, make a black, and a little green zenith X is three. You got it. Good night, sweet Jitte. We barely knew you. Yeah. I was thinking about cutting this. What a mistake. Uh, I think we know Jute pretty well, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> yeah. I mean from this game, Paul. But yeah, good one. Okay, so... Do you have a flyer? I do. I have a 2-3 that's a 3-4 because of this thing. I don't think I'm probably kind of okay. Is this full size? Yeah. The big. Yeah. Let's... I think I'm going to roll both at Liliana. Okay, Stoneforge Mystic is going to valiantly jump in front of the Gift of the Horn, and one, then Liliana two, will take three, one damage and go to two. Back to you. Hmm. It's okay. gonna turn into a real Donny Brook. Yeah, we're definitely we're definitely you know exchanging having, some resources having a here. Tilly. Yeah, that's right. There's a Tilly in progress. Um, got a Caves of Coilos. and what else do I have to say for myself here? I only get to cast one spell this turn. You can't say anything nice. Don't Unless say anything at all. Right. Unless I do that. Well, Liliana, can I keep you alive one more turn? Maybe. You got options. I know. Yeah, it seems okay. I'll shrink the Reclamation Sage. Toast. And we'll cast one of my favorite cards, actually. I play this in Mono Black Aggro, four. even though it costs four mana. Well, okay. I, I don't think it's in the most recent list, but it has been several times. Whoa. Bloodline Keeper. <laughs> Yikes. Tried to dress up like this for Halloween. I, I didn't have the hair. <laughs> That's going to be a concern. Yeah, hopefully this gets to do some things. Oh, hey, a snowball. I don't, I don't have five vampires right away. What happens if you have five vampires? Do you just win? Or no, no flips you him. flip him around. He's bigger and he pumps your other vampires. Gotcha. But he keeps he keeps making two twos as well. That's, yeah. Yeah, this is the backside. Tap to two two is still pretty good. Yeah, but we're not there yet. One of those, like, shockingly good, you know, dumpster rares. Yeah. Okay, back to you, friend. No respect, except in how, Highlander. How many vampires do you currently have? I have three right now. Be 
aggressive. B. B. Ooh. Aggressive. B. Okay. Aggressive. Um, yeah, let's just step on the gas and uh, try to polish off this Liliana. Okay. Uh, do I want to block strength root geist? Maybe. If I want to keep Liliana alive, I have to lose a lot of stuff. I think it's probably finally time. Sure, we'll block here. Okay. And then you'll gain five, is it? Yeah. Okay, and Liliana can go away now. Second main phase, thinking. Do you have any lands in your bin? I do not, but you still have one. Shocking. I have creatures, artifact, planeswalker. Well, I'm going to make a green. Play this Tarmagoose. All right. It's not very big. Oh, no, no, I have... I have creature, creature art, Planeswalker, Artifact. So three. Okay. But I have like the hard ones to get in. Like you yeah, just need so to cast like a once spell I, and once sacrifice land. Well, land. I, I, You've got a wasteland, wasteland on yeah. the table. Yeah. That's fine. It's going to be a five, six in no time. I'll pass the turn. Okay. Untap. Oh, everything did you, okay? Did you gain some life from... Oh, yeah. You need to gain five. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Hooray. Thanks, chat. Thanks, Paul. How's the aggro match going? Well, one's at 20. The other's at 26. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like turn five or something. Going, going great. Thanks for asking, Mom. We need some more chips down here. Oh, are you winning? Yeah. Are you winning, son? Uh, Vampire Nocturnus. Oh, yikes. So, okay, so this guy pumps two. These two are like a harsh non-bow, I'm just realizing. I'm not going to get to draw these cards. What's oh, well. It? Oh, right. It's like you need uh, the top card to be black. Yeah, sometimes the top card of your library pumps your vampires and gives them flying. Show me potato salad. We have a strip mine on top of that the library. That is not right now. a card that pumps hmm. your vampires. It's true. Uh, actually, Alex, could you just uh, move your uh, graveyard um, so it's just on camera? Just because obviously it is slightly relevant for the Tarmogoyf. But I can tap this thing to make a two-two, and then I'll have five, and I can transform this thing. Oh heck! So that's exciting. I do have a vampire lord that works all the time. Turns out. Okay, two-two flying vampire token. Oh, what a cutie. Yeah. Nice. And then Lord of Lineage. Other vampires I control get plus two, plus two. Yikes. So, yeah, things are pretty big. Um, I, I like that. I, I guess, like, there's no point in being the Lord of Vampires if there aren't any other vampires. Like, I'm only going to bother if there's, like, five other vampires around. Is this a word? Otherwise, yeah, I think so. uh, don't bother me. So we'll fly over for five. Uh, plus one, plus one, plus two, plus two. Yep. Ouch. And then I'll say go. Well, that that sure did hurt. Yeah, I like this ability. It's sort of reminiscent. Of, this is like just before Innistrad, I think, and it's sort of like this is kind of like the day night thing, right? Like the the vampires have to hide sometimes, and then other times they really go crazy. Well, I think I'm just gonna. That's what Lost Boys was about, right? Thinking is for chumps. So I'm just gonna keep showering haymakers. Sweet. Uh, more juice. What more does that willow. one do? Uh, Sweet to haste and yeah, it juices if I have delirium, which I do not have. Okay. So I'm just gonna turn everything sideways. It's still three to haste though. Cool. All right. Actually, wait. Let's this guy. Yeah, this guy's a three four. I will make some blocks. Okay. So. These both are going to be toast. Yeah, and then I'll take 10. And then I'll gain 5. Oh, I had another creature I could block with over here. It's fine. Uh, second main phase, nothing. Pass okay. your turn. All right, I'm tapping. Draw this strip mine. Path to exile on top. Blech. No, I mean, that I'm, doesn't pump your vampires, but... Another not a black card. Yeah. Um, you don't have a ton of mana. I but don't. I do. I have so much. Yes. Uh, let's play and then activate this strip mine targeting your overgrown tomb. You got it. And then I shall also cast a Blade of the Oni. Ooh. Yes. A new one. Um... Someone could become a 5-5 five, five menace. Did you gain your 5 life last turn? Probably not. Yes. Eh? Uh, oh, you no, did? I I or you did because I yeah. hit you for red in the sky. Cool, cool, cool. Yep. Okay. So I guess we have to do math. You have an blocker. 
Um, so we could kind of slow that down from blocking if we did this. We'd, so you'd still be able to block this. And then my attack in the sky would be 5, uh, 11, 16. And then we'd also get through for another 6, 7. 16 plus 17. It's not quite 26, is it? All right. Well, then you're going to stay home and make more vampires. And... With the mixing bowl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just put them all together there, right? It's not quite done. <laughs> and then I think this equip will still happen, though. Okay. So we're going to attack with Welcoming Vampire. And I think this token is probably right. Hey. I will not block. So it's 10 again. Ouch. That's what this game is. We only make attacks if they're for 10. Back to you. It's a shame we don't have one of those, like, uh, if you have 10 life, bad things happen to you. I know, right? Like, it's the showcase game for what a weird casting hits be second draw. rate and Friskadecophobia and stuff. Mm. How many flyers do you have? Um, three right now, but then if the next card down is black, everything flies. Gotcha. And then this can tap to make another one this turn. So maybe four or maybe six. Or maybe less if you kill my stuff. And no cards in hand. No, I played all my cards, though. Yeah. I'm gonna roll you with my death touch team. Death touch team seems. inbound. Yeah, that seems alright. Okay. Does anyone want to trade with this five five? It's like maybe I should stop playing with the top card of my library revealed. <laughs> that could be okay. I don't feel great about not blocking. I'm gonna make a two two. Okay. And we'll do this. Sorry, Vampire Nocturnus. I gave you a second chance. Okay. Okay, so, damage. Yeah, these are toast. I gain another five. Okay, second main phase. I will play Undiscovered Ooh. Paradise. All right. Which is a weird one. Um, Peek your non-existent hand. Hellbent. Um, suit up this flyer. Okay. Okay. Gutter bones. Gutter bones. Shows up to the party. Tap. Party. Yep. Pass. Okay. Untap. So you have a four-four. Uh, yes. Okay. Great. Yeah, this still seems pretty good. These ones. So, uh, is a 5-5 five, five menace, but gets plus 3, plus 2. So unless, it, unless it like stops being a, is a demon in addition. Okay, cool. Double charming. So that one I absolutely cannot block. Yeah, well, it's a 7-7 seven, seven menace. So you can block oh, with two doesn't creatures. Have doesn't, have, doesn't have flying. Yeah, oh, with not, these two have flying. The flying boosting thing didn't happen. And then okay, this so is a 5-5 five, five and a 5-6 flying. 5, 10, and then that one's what? This one is a 7, 7. Menace. You know what? I'm going to take it. Okay, it's 17. Back to you. Okay, let's see. Big money. Oh, right, this is, sorry, I missed it. Oh, yeah, you have to put that yeah, back, in, back, your back in my crib. Right, right, right. I will play it back out, though. Okay. 
landfall enabler on Discovered Paradise. Yeah, it's uh, it's best friends with um, uh, Bloodgast. Bloodgast, yeah. I actually think... I think I have to pass. Okay, I will. Just thanks. I will make a 2-2 and then step. Yep. Well, it's a 5-5, five, five, but yes. Okay. Um, I guess you are technically holding up Settled to Wreckage mana. I'll cast Path to Exile targeting your flying creature. That's pretty bad. Yep, that's okay. going to happen for you. I will get a Swamp. Okay, what happens when I do this? We're going to have to do a couple things. Okay. A couple uh, things. So, okay. what's on the ground? Just this one. Oh, okay, that actually makes things way easier. Okay. Um, so I'm going to block that. Oh, no, wait, I have to block with Two. both. Yeah. Okay, so okay. block that with both. Okay. Um, before damage... I would like to actually look at it. So how much damage am I looking? Oh, I'm twenty. Sorry, twenty-one. Yeah, I'm just dead. Okay. <laughs> just like nothing. I was like, what a weirdly weird thing. So yeah, I I drew malicious infliction, oh, which no, was like, oh, you were saying, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, that's rough. Okay. I mean, that's... is it just non-black? Uh, Where's a non artifact? Because I have some artifact creatures. It's yeah, non black. Non black. <laughs> okay, all right. So maybe I can get the metallic mimic and like the Mutavolt out in the same turn, and then you can get both of those. That could be cool. But yeah, obviously, I really like most selection because the, I think the generally, templating is cool. Like generally the, speaking, the card slaps. Yeah, no, it's And in great. some matchups, it is absolutely a brick. Or I played, I played Stoneforge Mystic this game too. Yeah. I have like one or two, I think. Just white creatures. Actually, the welcoming vampire is black. Or That's sorry, it's white. Is white. Funny is that like okay. it wasn't in my deck, and I added it back because I was like, oh, this card gets value. Yeah. No, it's fine. Which is not incorrect. The version of welcoming vampire that we have is like, it sort of looks dark. Like it's the wedding frame or whatever from from Zimbabwe. That was some powerful synergy. Yeah. Pile of lords. This deck is just like very slowly being. Raising in power. Yeah. You know, no, I like where it's got at. Got a couple of Innistrads and just like, here, have some more vampires. Yeah, I appreciate the no. first Zendikar decision to say, like, hey, we're going to make vampires a tribe that has creatures with a mana cost that you can actually cast. That was cool. Yes, yeah, Joker Bony in chat catching that. Uh, what? A welcoming vampire. Earth. What are you thinking? I think I keep this. I'll keep. Uh, um. This is going to be such a weird thing. Um, I will play. A swamp. Awesome. Nice. And a green mox. And then I will pass. Okay. Okay, I will also play a Swamp and a White Mox this time. Ooh! I know, yeah. Just collecting horseshoes before I started the stream today. Um, Guldraz Vampire. So this one gets plus two plus zero oh if you have ten or less life. You got it. Go ahead. Or and Intimidate, yeah. But right now it's a one-on-one. -one. Let's go Prismatic Vista. Pass. I'll play Caracas and Soren, Imperious Bloodlord. Sounds good. And I'll try to pump my vampire. 
Uh, that pump is going to happen. Okay. Then I will. It also has death touch and lifelink until end of turn. Yep. So I'll attack for two lifelink. Yep. Sorry. Back to you. I'm going to abrupt decay this guy. Okay. It's abruptly decayed. Oh. Fetch Sweet. this uh, and get a swamp. Okay. Down by the bayou is where I want. Get some cornbread and bourbon. Ooh, yeah, the cornbread. All made from corn. It's been so long. Need to get some uh, some chili with some cornbread on top this winter. It's been really warm here in Victoria. Like I wore this t-shirt to walk to work today, and yeah, it's the middle of October. Mayhem. Nice. You're up. And uh, I just haven't had nearly as much soup as I would normally have by this time for of the year. <laughs> soup deficit so is just at like, an all-time low. Yeah, no, I was just thinking about soup today. It's like, mm, I need to get some soup in me. Okay. Get in my belly. You, so, ever, you ever just think about soup? I, you I ever, do. There's no clothes I'm at soup. Do you think about soup? I think about I soup. Yeah. So that thing's big. Um, uh, let's cast this Dothy Voidwalker. Oh, that's a... It's not a vampire, is it? No, it's a oh, Dothy Rogue. It's, it's a non-vampire, yeah. Okay, but still just like it's good enough. It's still a 3-2 shadow that Got exiles it. your stuff. Got it. Go ahead. Uh, let's both get nugged. Ouch. 15. And then when does it start getting bigger? When any of us is at 10? Uh, yeah. Okay. Beep, beep. Oh, my goodness. Ooga okay. chaka. All right. Um, yes, yes. Broom. I must hurt now. You're up. Okay. I'm tapping. Mm. Well. Oh, right. It's got vigilance. Yeah. Always and forever. It can never be beaten. Uh, let's cast this him to Turak because I don't have a ton Ooh, of other wow. options. Oh, Nelly just had an untapped Caracas last turn. I could have bounced it. Uh, oh, sure, I forgot we'll it was take, legendary. We'll take these two. Okay. The opposition agent is not a fear. Yeah, I forgot it was legendary too. You know, I just honestly a wave of intimidation washed over me. Questing beast is scary. Yeah, I'll attack for three. Uh, shadow, right? Shadow. Oh yeah, sorry. These cards need to be exiled. Ah, right. With void counters on them or something. Oh. Yeah. Right. So it goes into your bin from anywhere. Yeah. What a drag. Go ahead. See, I was I was initially stoked by that, but not so much anymore. Uh, let's both get nugged. Yes. Um, gosh, I'm going to cycle this unearth, which would have been sick. Okay, that also has that to also... get exiled, yeah. Oh, God. Just if it would be put into graver from anywhere. Yeah. That's pretty good. Can I play me a gutter bones? Why I'm okay. playing this on the first main phase? Who can say? Hmm. Um... Right, yes, thank you. No worries. Uh, fight mode. Caracas mode. No. Still taking four, though. Yep. Okay, so I'm at eight now. You're up. Okay. Okay, so you have that QB we know about and one other card in hand? Yep. Okay. I don't have an out for that flyer. <laughs> um, so that makes... Sad. Feel. Pain. Yep. Occur. Pain occur. That's true. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, let's just cast this Yeheni Undying Partisan. <laughs> and attack you for five. No blocks. Okay. Two, three, four, five. And then say go. All right. Uh, nug both of us. Yes. This now triggers... Because I have 10 or less life. You are. You have a larger spawn. Bigger. Draw a card. More mayhem. Play a land. That was a misplay. Oh, well. 
cast a creature you cannot bounce with Caracas. You got it. it. Also has haste. Nice. Yeah, that'll do it. Can block the spawn. Can block one of these things with my large friend. Um, I'm going to take lethal. Let's do another one. Yep. Whew. Solid dabs. Okay, so yeah, forgetting the Caracas of the first turn with the QB was uh, oh, not great. It's not a great moment for Nelly's career. Is Yeheni and Dothi Voidwalker a non-bow? Does, it, does uh, the, yeah. the Voidwalker exiles before Yeheni gets to yeah. use it? Yeah, that didn't come up, but uh, yeah, those two are, I would say, both very powerful, cheap black They're... creatures, but not best friends. They have a difference of opinion yeah. as to what should be done with creatures exactly. in the graveyard. Yeah. It's like, no, they're a resource. They should be left there. Let but, I mean, as Chet says, uh, you still play them both. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's fine. You still play them both. They like being in the same deck. They just don't agree on the battlefield. They go on separate vacations. Yeah. <laughs> but they're still they're, together. They're they're the Bert and Ernie yeah. of the deck. They, they share a bed, but it's got like a yeah. bunch of magazines down the middle. They're like the odd couple. You know? <laughs> right. It's got like a one of those tea tables. Chat, by a show of hands, how many of y'all have seen the odd couple? We're on the deep cuts here. I yep. will keep this. Mm. Not me. There was no mox in that hand. Of course I have to mulligan. <laughs> noot, noot! Noot, noot! Are we going to get sued by Pingu? Yeah, right. I'd like, like to see Are we going to have a noot, noot copyright strike? Noot, noot! <laughs> Please don't sue me, Pingu. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like Pingu Ping would be really relentless in the Yeah, courtroom. Pingu's lawyers are brutal, man. That's not what we need. It's like, we're going to destroy you. Okay. As Mox must keep. Um, what are we bottoming here? Probably just the expensive one. Sure. All right. Okay. Ooh. Let's see if we can go with off. I'm going to fetch anyway, but... Okay, it's time for this polluted Delta and a Mox jet. Yep. We will sacrifice... Find the scrubland. The scrublande. Yes. This is where the scrubs live. No, it's not Letterkenny basements. It's this beautiful land from 1993. Um, two mana for Metallic Mimic. I'll choose Vampire. Back to you. Interesting. Yeah. I thought, why not? Let the Metallic Mimic be a vampire this time. Let's see how it likes drinking the blood of other robots. <laughs> Good luck with that. That's dark sided. Um, you know, it's their food source. I'd like to evoke this grief. I'll pitch this Shriek Ma that only sure. kills non artifact, non black <laughs> creatures. Sure. Do so you look at my hand? Yeah, and uh, it's just like. I've got a Knight of the Ebon Legion, a Changeling Outcast, and a Drill Bit. Uh, I think this one's the biggest threat. I agree. That seems fair. Yeah. Uh, oh, I get to play a land. I'll play a Blooming Marsh, and I'll cast a uh, Gravecaller. Okay, that's right. There you go. And I'll pass the turn. If I rip a land or another Mox, I could, I could be Hellbent on turn two. Damn. Thanks, Grief. Okay, do you want to cut? That's fine. Hmm. You're not a land or another Poor Mox. Or Shriek Maw. Can that thing block? Negatory. Two, yeah. Yep. That's let, me, let me see that hand. Okay, I get to choose a non-land card from it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll take Green Sun Zenith. That's yeah, that's fine. fine. It still shuffles, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then it always shuffles. It, you've never shuffled as much as you think, or uh, uh, as much as you're supposed to with that thing, right? Golly gosh. Okay, so Changeling Outcast is a 2-2 that can't block or be blocked. Go ahead. Look at us having the most beautiful mono black aggro mirror. No blocking allowed. The cards prevent Blocking it. is for doms. That's right. Well, right, that can't block. This can't block. <laughs> yeah. Go. Okay. Okay. Um, this one. 
This one you're familiar with because it was also in your hand. Oh, brother. You have Sorcery Creature, so my Tarmogoyf dice is at two for Nighthawk Scavenger. You got it. And then I'll attack for four. Yeah. Oh, sorry, this is also actually bigger. Maximum Confusion. So it has a plus one, plus one counter because it's a vampire, and then its power is currently two. Go got ahead. It. But it's three. Oh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. Oh, no. Get and a pile of use. Nighthawks is also coming down. You'd think that. Oh, okay. You drew better three drops. Fair enough. Maybe not. Be well, yeah, it's probably better. I don't know. I'm going to wreck Sage, your stupid robot. Sure. I'm sorry I called your robot stupid. Uh, it has no feelings, so I <laughs> <laughs> can't really forgive you because it just I doesn't serve. understand. Yeah. Uh... This one can block. Yeah, okay, go. Nice. Um, hit ya. Ouch. It's, oh, you put a land in there. Sorry. So this, oh, bro, uh, ha this has four power now, right? Uh, I guess Number so. Number of card types in your opponent's graveyards. Okay, cool. So four, five, six. And I have to gain four. Ouchie, Baba. Yeah, but what am I going to do next turn once you've got a Nighthawk? I don't know. I have Drana, but she's, <laughs> she's like kind of a turn too late against your Nighthawks. Don't right? like it. She's really good, though, obviously. Happy to see her. Go ahead. I mean, I obviously have to play this, homie. Sure. So I have Artifact Creature Land. Sorcery. Yours is a four. Okay. Go? Okay. This is not looking good for me, though. Well, it's like, I think you have to block Drana, which means you take, you go to one, but then in, after, in regular damage, you go back up to six, so that's fine. Let's just attack for two. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, so two Vampire Nighthawks now. Nice, yeah. We're just going to like keep Nighthawking back and forth. Quick, change the description to Commander. Go. Hive of the Eye Tyrant tapped. This is a creature land. Hmm. Which also non bows with Nighthawk Scavenger. Is it a May? Exile target card from Depending Player's Graveyard. But it does become a 3 3 minutes. I'll attack for two. That's pretty good. Oh boy. Go ahead. So how big so are much vampire how, vampire how big are the respective Nighthawks right now? Okay, so this is a four three. This is a two three. And then this is a four four because it has a plus one toughness boost from the plus one plus one counter from Metallic Mimic. And it only would have three power. Is, isn't the power one plus? Oh, yeah, it's oh, one yeah, plus. Oh, yeah, it's one plus. Okay, okay, so the count is four. Right, yeah, thank you. Yep, there's a lot of things happening. Okay, so this is a five, four, and that's a five, three. Right? Sure. Because I have four types and you have three types. Okay. But I have a plus one, plus one counter. Gotcha. So the Alex's Nighthawk Scavenger is currently five, three, and mine is five, four. Yeah, the beep, beep. Two beeps for the price of one. Two beeps for the price of two green pips. Right. So I think I just have to go into... I'm slowly taking two land now. Great. Two damage. Yes. Yeah. Taking two. I don't know about this guy from my zombies deck as well. He just slides in anywhere. It's true. Slippery little guy. Attack for two. Get you back down to three. Um, I'll play a planes and say go. I will continue to accumulate aggro. Sure. And help you. To try and stem 
the bleeding here. It works. Go. Okay. Well, like if this was a boxing match, people would start booing and saying it's fixed. It's true. Yeah, for two. Try to have more oh, collect oh, more, more non-bows for my Nighthawk Scavenger. Oh god. There's some creatures in Magic that happen to be vampires that are really good. Oh my god. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> Alright, so we've got Kalidas. We're a three four life, like I don't have the mana to eat a vampire right now. Go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna fetch this wooded foothills. Sure. Literally just so that I can have fewer cards in my deck. Which I know I realize that the, the advantage to that is like Practically non-existent. It's really small, yeah, with Highlander decks. But so like, we've got 80 cards or more in them, but show it's me not a, nothing. Show me a Highlander player, and I'll show you a person who has superstition. Okay. I mean, it's not actually me. Hey! <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> but you could have drawn an even worse land. It's true! <laughs> yeah. Oh, hell. Why you did couldn't it, have drawn that forest. Why did it have to be Cletus? Mm. God, I hate that guy. Yeah, he's mean. Well, I still have to turn this sideways to not die. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm still correct to let you gain the two life and go to 15. Go. Okay. I have no idea what I draw that like digs me out of this hole. Mm. Fair. Can Clint even attack? This can't block either, right? Negatory. Okay, so you have two blockers. So, like, what's Nelson's got to do math. But I'm attacking! Dad, I don't want to do math. They told me I wouldn't have to. Um, okay, so say I make this thing a thing, and then this bites it. You gain... Is it still five? Yeah. You gain five, go to nine. And then we get in for seven... And then you only have two blockers, so you can't block both of these. So instead, you block Kalidas or the Night. You probably have to block the Nighthawk Scavenger. Um, which I think is good for me. Sure. Let's find out how badly I messed this up. Rawr. Uh, trigger. I will exile Wooded Foothills. Uh, so 5-4. Two, two, three, 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 four, two, three. That's a lot of pain. So that one I can't do anything about. That one I can do anything about. Oh, I see why you were saying two blockers. This has menace, yeah. Uh, is Cletus being pumped by anything? Nope. Okay. Nothing's being pumped. No, but he's, but wait, there's Drana. He's, there's he's, Drana. He's going to get pumped. Yeah, if you don't block Drana, then my attacking creatures get plus one, plus one counters. So. Okay, I think I'm going to block Drana, and I'm going to double block Cletus. Okay, and sounds good. I don't know if I did the math right. I probably didn't. Yeah... I, yeah, it's probably the same, honestly. I, I didn't do the math for the other block, but, um, you know, this if this doesn't get through, then it adds four more damage that you got to figure out. So, uh, yeah, first strike, this takes two. Um, and then these are blocking here, right? Yes. So regular damage, this stuff all dies, and then you take uh, ten. And I gain... Five, right? So still dead. Yeah. Okay. Another very bizarre game. Yeah, I don't know. That was that one was exciting and like you'd think that the the aggro matchup would be a lot more just like bang 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 dead. Right. And they've been very thinky matches. Yeah. No, aggro players working hard. I mean, this is an important part of magic, absolutely. Although I do like the aggro thing of attack. I didn't do the math on this attack. <laughs> block block I also didn't do the math on this block. <laughs> <laughs> Look, one of us has to figure out what happens. No, yeah, it goes but... either way. Yeah, it goes either way. You deal with it. So is that uh, is that us? 
What are we at? It's uh, seven yeah. o'clock. Yeah, okay. I believe wow, that's, that flew uh, by. I wanted to have like four more games. Okay, thanks for the games, Alex. Thank wow. you. Let's do another break and yeah. uh, back with. When we come back, uh, something else. It will be another. Yeah, it's. Pairing. I'm, I'm going to stick around. You get to watch some more Black White Vampires. We're going to bring Surge back on, and we're going to have the tribal battle of elementals versus Ooh. vampires. And me uh, and the age old conflict. That's right. Yeah, me and Ben are going to do it uh, OG style with uh, elbows and belts. Whoa. Okay. Well, if that becomes content, I'm going to want to watch that too. If you want to keep it secret from the world, I understand. I don't think that we can stream it on Twitch. Right. Maybe on Live Week. <laughs> Please stay here. <laughs> Good evening and welcome back to the Friday Night Paper Fight Canadian Highlander Edition. My name is Serge. I'm joined by the wonderful Nelson Salahub. Hello there. And we have been, I mean, you've got to see all the decks so far. We've got four decks, we've got four players, and I have, I have an admission to make, and I want to manage some expectations with chat right now. I am 0-7 on the <laughs> oh nine with my elementals. Goodness. I did a pre-game with Wheeler. Okay. I did three games on camera with Wheeler. I did three more games off camera with Wheeler. All right, but only Wheeler has beaten you. So maybe like you'll be my kryptonite here. Like maybe. people only had the one yeah. matchup where it's like the eggs aggro or whatever. So one of two one of two things. Elementals. Yeah. Either I'm due for a win. Okay. <laughs> or, or I have made some structural mistakes <laughs> in the construction of this deck because Look, you've got a 50-50 chance of winning. Either win or I don't. Yes, thank you, Paul. Chances of you losing eight times in a row. Oh, yeah. If you pretty quit, slim. Yeah, yeah. Pretty slim. Thanks for that quick uh, primer on the gambler's spell. Yeah, so, Paul, yeah, appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was theory crafting how to make an elemental tribal deck. Right. There are not a lot of Elementals Matters cards, but sure. there are a lot of very cool Elementals. And the Elementals Matters cards, some of them are very cool. Like yeah, Omnath, Omnath and Risen, Risen Reef. Reef. And then the list ends, but that's okay. Let's just build the deck from there. <laughs> and then there's a bunch of really cool cards that are also elementals. Right. Like all of the elemental invocations. But in order to make this deck really work, I think I need like 12 elves. Yeah, I don't hate then, that, honestly. And then, it, and then it falls apart, but it's not really an elemental deck. And I get roasted by chat. Ah. I made an angels deck. and Let they're us like, play Canadian Highlander. And they're like, Surge, your angels deck only has eight angels. They're like, welcome to Highlander. <laughs> there's eight good ones, okay? Yeah. Anyways, yeah. uh, I won the die you roll. Won the die roll. I'm going right. first, and okay. I'm due for a W. We're right? gonna we're gonna go through this match and figure out who we're cutting to replace with Lanor elves, Fenor <laughs> elves, Ignoble Hierarch, etc. Another thing I might have too much of is the triumphs. So okay. Jetmir's Garden tapped Zurin Orb. Nice. Go. Okay. <laughs> put the orb on this. Oh, the orb. Yeah. The orb. Show us your orb. We would wish you, to ponder. Would your you like orb. to ponder my orb? Yeah, everyone wants. I, to I put it on your the orb. card reader and it. <laughs> I'm sacrificing a Marsh Flats. All right, that's fine. Got 19. Got a Scrubland. I will shuffle my library. Yeah. But first, may I present to you Gul'draz Vampire, signed by Steve Argyle. A 1 1 vampire rogue from First Zendikar that gets plus 2 plus 1 and, oh, yeah. and intimidate if you have 10 or less life. Oh, yeah. Back to you, friend. Untap. Draw for the turn. Fascinating. Um, going to also play a Marsh Flats. Nice. <laughs> and I'm going to I'm going to shortcut. I'm not going to shortcut that much. I'm going to fetch for a land that's going to come play an untap. I'm going to cast Steve, aka Sakura Tribe Elder, aka Steve. All right. I already have a white, a green, and a red. I don't have a blue, so let's get a Tundra. That classic, like I have the following colors. I That's know right. I'll just get one of the lands that I can't, <laughs> I can't fetch for. I'll get a volcanic island. You're like, uh... Uh, <laughs> yep. Go ahead. We've backed up a few Highlander games in our oh time my God. because of this. Exact yeah, 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 yeah. We didn't quite hit the chivo of both players shuffling their decks at the same time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Have you, yeah, have you had to have the judge call where there's like both players Wait. shuffled their decks together? Sorry, oh. Sakura Sec Tribe is basics, right? Y yes. So you got the you got a tundra? No, we, with the marsh flats we got the tundra. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But but Serge was thinking about getting something that wasn't an island yeah, or, or yeah. a swamp. For Did a I? That's like my famous judge story. Oh yeah, fair enough. Okay, sorry, I wasn't at that game. I just have also done those things. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. 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 You've got I one had from... two players. 
I had two players who were both playing mono blue tempo decks. Right. Both had a, oh my god, uh, it's a merfolk, it's a 1-3. When you hit their deck, you take an artifact and you cast yes. it. Yes, it's a, the 2-2, two -two, Thada Adele. Thada Adele, they both right. had Thada Adele. They yes. both connected multiple times no, I remember and had now. each other's yeah. artifacts with little pieces of paper to denote who actually owned who, it. Whose jit was whose, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then at one point, as if this wasn't chaotic enough, I got a judge call because they're like, hey, while we were both shuffling and stealing each other's stuff, I accidentally shuffled half of my <laughs> opponent's deck into my deck yeah. because I was searching their deck because I connected with Thada Adele and then shuffled it into my deck because they were the same colors and basically the same deck. Yeah. Oh, and I was they, just like, and I, they were playing the same sleeves and everything oh, yeah. too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's just... <sighs> oh. Go? Oh, it's your turn. Yeah, you I played, played a Temple Garden. I played garden. Yeah. A, a Temple Garden for Black. Yeah, exactly. Not temple God of the Shrine. For yeah. God of the Shrine. Yeah, Thank you. Temple, and now I have Cordial Vampire. Uh, that one sucks for well, me. Well, maybe. Yeah. So we'll put, I'll put this card on the stack and let you read it. Whenever another, whenever it or another creature, another creature Any dies. Any creature dies. My vampires no. get bigger. It's pretty neat. For who? Welcome, welcome. I'm very cordial. <laughs> like, so I can sack Stay a while. <laughs> Every card in my deck is Deckard Cain. So um, it's like I can sack in response and prevent you from getting yeah. plus one, plus one counter on each? Oh, yeah, for exactly. both? No, I sack in response. Okay. Yeah, I'll take two. Forget that. Uh, I'm yeah. going to get a basic planes into play tapped by just, sacrificing Steve. Cool. Just one. Because if you do that before oh, this right. enters yeah, play, yeah, then yeah. I don't get a plus one, plus one. Yeah. And that's not a two one yet. That's just a one. one. Exactly. Yeah. It's going to be a three two uh, if we succeed. It wants to grow up to be a 3-2. Do you, do you think you meet, when you go into the vampire, how, do you meet the welcoming vampire first oh, yeah. and then the cordial vampire? Yeah, absolutely. And you're just like, wow, this is a really nice place. <laughs> and then the door kind of closes yeah. quietly behind you. <laughs> All right, I can't find my planes on board. I'm just going to get a forest. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I mean, you can still cast Niatron. I know. I, I have, I have two out. white sources, too. It's not the worst. Yeah. Do you have blue mana? Yes, I have a ton. Oh yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Right. Yeah, I've got all my colors. Cool. Perfect. Thank you. No worries. Perfect mana. I was worried. So you, you hit me for one, I go to 18. You know, the tundra produces ice mana. It's not the same as regular water <laughs> mana. So that's why I was confused yeah, everyone. Yeah, of course, of course. Go ahead. Untap, untap. <laughs> Draw. Another land? What? Is that allowed? I'll allow it. Oh, <laughs> uh, what do I do with my life? Mm, playing lands, playing Zurin Orb, getting tickled for two damage. Uh, say go. Okay. A one mana one one and a two mana one one. Meet in a bar. <laughs> uh, planning my turn here. I've got a case of the thinks going on. <laughs> Yeah, we'll spot it's easy. No, I'll respond. Okay. Uh, I'm going to Swords to Plowshare, your Cordial Vampire. But that's not the same as dying. <laughs> I'll, gain, I'll gain one life. Yeah. And then your hits are... Oh, you lose two. Yes, Eldritch Evolution, you. Savine's Reclamation, Ephemerate, no creatures in hand. Hmm, okay. Uh, but all cool cards if I get creatures. I mean, my great Reclamation you could cast, but you could also just cast it if I take it. Yeah, and well, it's, like worse it's than your five hand. to cast back, yeah. Right, but then it gets a land and a Steve. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it felt kind of weird to like Savine direct back Steve with the board that we had. I'll just take this two here. Yeah, that makes sense. Attack you for one. Yeah, I go to 17. I'll go to 16 and uh, fetch for another Triumph. I will play a Caves of Coilos for the turn and lose another life for my land. I'm winning. <laughs> to cast Calastria Highborn. Whenever this or another vampire uh, dies, I can pay a black mana. If I do, drain you for two. Cool. I will also put some rocks into play. One, one is very pretty the and one is spear. very sharp. Yeah. Yo, Go that's to, very good. Check out my rock collection. Yeah. Mm. Quick, mark this as acceptable content for four-year-olds. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go to my favorite pizzeria, Spara's Headquarters over here. Mm, Spara's Headquarters, right. get it? Is this, we got to add sponsors. <laughs> All right, here's what we need to have happen, Nelly. Probably rip a creature. Yeah, rip a creature with a sick ETB and then ephemerate it for value. We've, the, the deck, you, you set yourself up for success to do this, yes. right? Like there's going to be some oh, yeah. sick ETBs oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. that you peel. What here. we don't want to have to do is peel a land and then Savine's wreck like Sakura Tribe Elder as a blocker or whatever to get rid of your stupid Shadow Spear, you know? Hey, hey. Sorry, it, 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 in my mind it's stupid. Sorry. 
Calm down on the Shadow Spear All right, untap. language. Draw for the turn. Sick three drop. Well, it's a three drop with an ETB. Is it Risen Reef? No. Okay. It's an elf. Oh, nice. <laughs> what that, else has the, arrived? It's the Risen Reef that never misses. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're fine. Go get a basic. Put it in the uh, it, no, it's any forest. It's not oh, even forest, a basic. Forest. So right, I'm going to go get Sorry. another Triome. What's that one called? They made the basic one from uh, Shadow Moor. But yeah. that one comes into play tapped. Wood Elves is crazy. Yeah, Wood Elves is good here. So I think there's, yeah, Ketria Triome is going to come into play. And uh, I'm going to say go. Okay. Wait, does Shadow Spear give Trample too? Sure does. Trample, oh, lifelink, and stops you from having hexproof sometimes and yeah. indestructible. Ooh. I was like, I can block the lifelink, but not with Trample, because my little right. flicker ephemery trick, you know. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm I'm up to date on your have, tricks. Have you ever heard of ephemery? <laughs> I'll equip here. No. And smashy, smashy. All right. Well, I'll block the one that doesn't have Trample. Sure. And then, and then I'll, I'll try and ephemerate it. Again. Yeah, the ephemerate's fine. Yeah, I just finished shuffling. You're good. All right, so... You're going to go get two more lands here. Yes, so I'm going to cast ephemerate. Okay. Um, and then this ha has to happen before for four damage, so pardon me. Uh, I don't think I have another triome that has green in it. I think those are my three triomes. So I'll get a volcanic or a stomping ground. Uh, I'm going to take oh, I have two. To gain two life. Yeah, you I gain can. two, I lose two. Cool. And then I'm going to shuffle, continue to shuffle, well, and we'll yeah. go to your main phase. Sure. I'm not going to shuffle that hard because I'm going to have yeah, to do you're going to do it again. Too, right? I'm not stopping you from your ephemerate working, but I will take oh. your Savine's Reclamation. Oh, period, no. Which is kind of bad, but I want the fourth loyalty on my Liliana. Back to you, ephemerate's fine. <sighs> Every land <laughs> is out of service. And it comes into play tapped, right? You know what? Uh, no, no, it doesn't. No, that's like what I was saying. That's one. Yeah, this one's so good. So great. Yeah, I mean, if you get another Jet Mirror Garden or whatever, the Triumphs. I'll grab uh, Savannah this time. All right, now I need you to cut me into, like, Omnath. Omnath would be good here, Fury right? Fury would be really good. Yeah, Fury, Fury would be really clears good. your clears your, your Lily. Yeah, or my creatures. Yeah, both. I think I want to... Cl uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, maybe you just kill Lily. Uh, yeah, I have I have some cards that are good. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Here's a good one. All right. All right. You ready, chat? I need this win. I need this. <laughs> but, I the gathering. <laughs> but. Do but, any of your lands cycle from play? No, you don't have those ones right now, hey? Nope, I sure don't. Sorry. <laughs> okay. okay. Am I supposed to keep this in hand? Yeah, if I get Omnath, I'm supposed to keep this in hand, so. It's fine. Yeah, keep it in hand. Uh, you can't uh, attack because you have something. Yeah. yeah. Surge. Sure can't. Surge, premier lands player, whether he likes it or not. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. Do you want to sacrifice some things? Oh, yeah, do you want a Savine's Reclamation? Yeah. If I Savine's Rack, I can get back... <laughs> get back Steve. And a land. And a land. <laughs> Think of the lands you could have in play, Surge. Yeah, or I can block with Wood Elves and Savine's Rack the turn after. That seems maybe fine. Sure. 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 You get an extra chump blocker this way. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Untapping? Yeah. Drawing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I kind of want a card that's just like return to the battlefield from a graveyard, target land, and target Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be incredible. That's what it said. Uh, let's do the same attack we did last turn. Wow. I'm going to block. Sure. This time, uh, take two. You gain two. Wood Elves dies. I'll play a swamp. And yeah. Plus one Liliana. I'm supposed to play that land. What am I doing? Eh, that's fine. It. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I will minus two. Go ahead. There you go. That, that's a hit. That's a hit. Oh, this is such a hit. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do it for five. Okay. Uh, get Titania. Sure. With Zurin Orb. Yep. Pass. Well, you got a trigger right away, don't you? Oh, I do. Titania has an ETB. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, she gets that land I discarded because I'm very good at magic. It's, it looks like you're pretty good. Game of skill. <laughs> no no luck involved. May the best wizard win. We're trying. Yeah. Uh, good. All right. So this is in play now. Thank you. No worries. <laughs> now you want me on top? Yeah. Great. Okay. I see what you're doing. You're trying. That's good. I appreciate it. Surge is a 12. And... Maybe a 
probably better off not being play. Minus two. Target you. I will sacrifice this land in response. Sure. That's fine. Make a 5-3 token. Sacrifice okay. that 5-3 token. Pass. And step. I mean... Just sack them all. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, there's a chance maybe I get caught, but I think I go for it. I, I had a Savannah Lions in hand. Yeah. And it's like, oh, maybe I, uh, maybe I just try to trick so you a little bit. Just, there you go. Hey, congrats. Yeah, let me Got just it. explain really quickly Seven to chat what happened. So I sacrifice all of my lands to Xurnorb. I gain two life for every land I sacrifice. Every time I sacrifice a land, Titania makes a 5-3 elemental. So I make 45 power uh, out of 5-3 second attack. And, yeah. And... You're doing it at the end of Nelson's turn. And so yeah. they all they all yeah. have they, they go through upkeep, they don't have summoning sickness, and we kill. Yeah, casually gain sixteen life, make forty power, attack for forty five. And Armageddon yourself. Don't forget <laughs> that. In case you yeah. don't like having to untap your lands, now you don't have to anymore. Yeah. There's like this really weird moment where I'm like, uh what am I what am I playing around? Right? Sure. Yeah. And uh, an instant speed. <laughs> You're probably not playing uh consume the meek or whatever. <laughs> That'd like, be incredible. One of the very <laughs> few imagine? mono black instant speed wraths, yeah, you know? Exactly. No, Consume the Meek is mo mostly a nombo with this deck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it sounds um, like I think we're I think we're just good to go. I feel like, yeah, I don't know if there's anything in my deck that you would be afraid of. Like if if we were playing Settle the Wreckage, but I think, I think worth, you have to go for it anyways. I think you go right? for it, yeah. Because yeah, like if it. you play super conservatively, you're probably not gonna win. Yeah. Like maybe Cyclonic I can count. Rift. Now that would have been a hit, but Ooh. we're not in those covers. Obviously. Maybe if I can count like exactly how many blockers you have and what I need for lethal and one extra removal spell, but sure. like that seems, ah, just go for it. Yeah, if I play the two one, I think you're like, okay. That turns out if there's some removal spell that Nelly doesn't have, but I can imagine, then I still just make all of them, make all of the five threes. Do it. Do it now. <laughs> Uh, this looks keepable. Sure. Yeah, I'm keeping. Good, good luck to you, my friend. Good luck to you, too. Swamp. Vampire Lacerator. Back to you. Also autographed. Fascinating. Yep. Yeah, this is a real blinged out deck. It's very bling. Uh, Ketria Trium. Thanks, Angel. Zuron Orb. Oh, no. Yeah. Was oh, that literally her hundred cards? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not, her, it's not her, her list that you brewed. It's her deck. No, yeah. That's put sick. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah, all right. Yeah. Uh, go to you. She offered. I didn't have to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Bloodstain Mire. Oh, sorry. I lost life. Yeah. Attack for two. I take it. Yeah. There's sometimes when you say I'm playing a deck, it's like a deck that somebody else mm -hmm. crafted. But yeah, sweet. Just and it's not the troll thing like the goblins players do, where they're all foreign, <laughs> right? You can't like you're like I can't read any of these cards. Why are they all German foils? It's like yeah. well, it's a goblin deck. They're all pennies, so I I blinged it out. Yeah. I'm going to pay two and go to 16. Okay. And I'm going to cast a Farseek. Okay. And Farseek is going to get me another Triumph to go into play. I will also find a land. Okay. I was just that. like, what's happening? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just getting a Goblet Shrine into play. It says a lot about you. I don't know why I said that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I get up early on Sundays, but it's not to go to regular church. <laughs> Just go and look at really pretty stained glass. And I go to I go to mean church. That's right. Yeah. Um, Pay my debts to I'm the gonna, church of deals. Uh, Jetmere's garden. Okay. Go. All right. Seventeen from last raider. My upkeep. Okay. Definitely playing this Verdant catacombs. Yep. And then I think we'll sacrifice it, get a scrubland, and cast welcoming vampire. This is a white 2-3 flying that draws cards sometimes. I will attack for two. White 2-3 flying, whenever one or more other creatures with power two or less enter the battlefield under your control, draw a card. This ability triggers only once. Oh, it's an interesting, like, pseudo-mentor. Mentor yeah, yeah, exactly. It's Mentor of the Meek, but a flying vampire. Uh, and, and it so can only I draw two, one card per turn. And I go to 14, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Back to you. All right. I would like to stop getting hit, please, and thank you. And in order to make that happen, I'm going to do the following. Well, <laughs> uh, we're going to start by casting a three visits. Okay. And that's going to get me a 
Savannah. Wait, white, white, blue, blue, yeah, red, red. I, my man is actually matter. perfect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so tropical Savannah island. Savannah or tropical are probably the same, right? I found Savannah first, so perfect. I'll, I'll put that into play, and then I'm not tutoring again. Uh, but I'll just finish this turn, and then I'll shortcut there. I'm going to evoke a wave sifter. Great. So that's going to put uh, two treasure tokens into play. Uh, invest. Yeah, that's what clue investigate. Tokens. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Oh, clue so, tokens, clue tokens, right, right. Yeah. Clues. So when it enters the battlefield, investigate twice. Investigating makes you two clue tokens, and then not, I evoke it. Not treasure. Did I say but treasure? You I, did. Yeah, that's why I, I was searching you. for the clues. It's fine. My bad. It's fine. Uh, pass. Okay. Untapping. Losing a life. Drawing a card. Um, Stoneforge Mystic. That's a beautiful Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah, really pretty. Yeah, it turns out the double master spoils are nice. Okay, so I, yeah, resolves. I can search first or I can draw a card first because I have two ETBs at the same time. And I'll draw a card first. Okay, now I'll search for equipment. Whenever one or more. Yeah, yeah. cool. Okay. I mean, I could play that one this turn. Well, it's not that. Maybe I should speak in this. What do you have to search? Do I want to deal lots of damage to you, or do I need to stop you from Savine's reclamationing me with this Lion Sash? Ooh! That is a good one. That is a good one. I'll attack for four. I sure wish you wouldn't. I got a ten? It's too late. Sorry. <laughs> I got a ten. Okay. I'll cast Ether Vial. Back to you. <laughs> you like that you like that noise? Oh that's sure. a, that's a good one. I'm into it. That's a good one. Uh, three mana. Crucible. That's a good one. Yeah. I'm going to sacrifice a land to gain two life. Great. Play a land. Okay. It's been a while since I've watched them on Dark Ritual with Crucible of Worlds. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah. I can't do anything else to degen with that right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass. On top. Yeah. Losing a life one more time oh, we're because there. of your cool tricks. I had you down to 10. <laughs> we tried. We tried, fam. I'll cast this Lion Sash immediately. Oh, I forgot to put a counter on this. Yeah, that's fine. Is put that okay? Yeah, yeah, I yeah, do yeah. mean, yeah. I did yeah, need to put yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cast this. Yeah. Draw a card. You're right. Oh my god. Uh, so much value. Wow, that card's so good. Attack for five. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, Mentor of the Meek is pretty good. Ah, uh, five is going to happen. I'm going to go to seven. Or, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. All right, end step. I'm going to crack a clue, draw a card. Sure. Um, that is a good hit. Nah. I'm going you can do to flash in a solitude, hmm. exiling a flicker wisp. All right. Solitude's good. Uh, Lion Sash. Sure. That's fine. It gets exiled, I gain a life. Yeah, it's basically swords that gain life equal to power. Okay. All right. Untap. Draw for the turn. I am going to wargate x is equal one. Okay. And get fast bond. Hmm. Well, I don't know if I have any infect creatures in the deck team, <laughs> but I'll let you explain to everyone what's happening here. Yeah. So we're going to get Fast Bond into play. So Fast Bond says uh, I may play any number of lands each turn, but each time I play more than one land, I take a damage. So uh, Zirin Orb, I'm going to sacrifice a land to gain two life. I go to nine. I'm going to play my first land for the turn from the graveyard. I'm going to float a green mana. I'm going to sacrifice it, I gain two life, I play it, I lose a life. I sacrifice it, I gain two life, I lose two life. So I'm going to make infinite mana and infinite life. 
Um, and then I'm going to cast Titania. Sure. Yeah. That's fine. So I have infinite life, and I'm also going to make infinite 5-5, five, 5-3s. Five, five Good times. Pass. I had the... I had Pres the... Presumably, you, you cast Titania early in that process. Oh, yeah, yeah but, it doesn't but, matter. It, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you like, can... Like, infinite is infinite. Once you make five mana, yeah, you can, can cast Titania it. and then do it. But you can also forget that you were supposed to cast it first, and you can just do it again, because yeah. this combo yeah. doesn't cost mana. It generates Another mana. infinite, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I had the Vindicate last turn, but I just wanted to advance my board, and I thought oh. maybe the Lion Sash would be enough, but I could have I could have gone for your... Gone um, for the Crucible, crucible there, immediately. yeah. Making the mana, for yeah. sure. For right. sure. Okay, all right. We've seen the Zurin Orb and the Titania both games. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good format. It's just land stuff. Like, this is so weird, where... Because I, I didn't see any of these cards any of the other games, right? Okay, like, it's a right. sort of... It's a, what, That's true. Weird. I haven't really run into your Elementals yet. Wheeler got to face off against your elemental seven games in a row, and I get two rounds of Crucible now, Frap on Titania. Now, Titania is an elemental, and she yeah. makes elementals, yeah. but yeah, it like it doesn't feel like an elemental deck. It's just like I oops into this weird lands package and I'm not even a lands right. deck. Well, do we have one more? What do you think? Oh yeah. Seven thirty four. I think we can get one right. more in. Okay. The vampires are thirsty. Yeah. They keep getting you down to 10. Yeah, uh, and and it's weird that I put an, like 30 elementals into this lands deck, right? Yeah, like, I know. I, I promised everyone before the break. I said we were going to have a tribal battle. <laughs> <laughs> but it's How? it's not a it's not a great it's not making great TV, TV if one tribe is like, "Okay, play a 1-1, one, one, play a 2-2, two, two, play a 3-3 three, three, <laughs> that pumps the other one." And then the other tribe is like, "Cool, I'm just going to take all this damage <laughs> and then make 40 power or infinite power worth of five threes. <laughs> have I literally cast an elemental other than Titania yet. Chat? Well, is Wood Elves or Steve elementals? Are those the only other Kate creatures I've cast? You're good. We have, yeah. That's, so, I mean, this Those still, are the three creatures you've cast. This, this still goes to show that the elemental deck is bad. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I evoked, I, all right, I evoked oh, a that's Solitude. Right. You did evoke, a, you, and you and evoked. Wave Shifter, you evoked and Wave Shifter, and Wave Shifter. Wave Shifter did find me the cards I needed and to win grief. that game. In game one, you had Grief. Well, yeah. no, Grief is black. Grief isn't in this game, this deck. Oh, that was Alex. Sorry. <laughs> I was trying. No, that's fine. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm going first. And yes, you it. are. Good luck to you, my friend. Good luck to you, too. I've got a Swamp and a Shadow Alley Denizen. Okay. Uh, I am going to find a tropical island, okay. and then I have a spell to cast. I go to 19. Obligatory squeak. Pardon me? Obligatory squeak. Yeah, it's very important that I squeak. It's how chat knows I'm not a clone or a robot. Or a clone of a robot. Oh, these advanced <laughs> clone robots, you know, they're going to be able to figure out this week. They're going to master it perfectly. Who was it in the community who did this super cool, like, psha, and they grabbed the card and they go, psha? Aaron Patton. That was, eight, yeah, and had little stars yeah. on the lands to make it, like, even easier to tutor for them. It was very cool. He also, like, displayed his, his graveyard. Like, still plays. He played uh, he played the big crystal in the tournament. Oh, so no way! Like, yeah, he's, he's oh, still, that's he's right. Still he's on the yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Yeah, he still plays. And the, he also, I remember back in the day, displayed his graveyard in a way that was like a dredge player before dredge was even a thing. Oh. Yeah. Ponder. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh. The spreading your cards out and like having the top corner start or whatever, is that, it's not like, that's that's kind of a cool idea. I like that. Right? Mm-hmm. I wonder if we're ever going to get the future site for hand so you can see your mana costs when your hand's fanned out to the right. <laughs> I wouldn't. Right. I wouldn't mind. Uh, so, like that, and then draw this card, and okay. then say go. Okay. <clears throat> Swamp, hit you for one. I'm at 18. Vampire Hexmage. Ooh! Back to you. Wish I was playing Dark Depths. And then I'd be like, hey, hey there. Help a brother out. Yeah. All right, everybody's favorite elemental, it's Steve. <laughs> yep. Go. I think someone in chat earlier asked if you're playing Smoke Braider. Are you playing Smoke Braider? No, which one's Smoke Braider? It's uh, two mana, one, one, and it taps for two mana, but you can only use it to cast or no. activate elementals. Yeah, there's a bunch of cards that the modern deck plays that this one isn't playing. That's one of them, because it yeah. felt kind of weird. Maybe I'm supposed to be. Like, in the more elves and mana-hungry version, yeah. But that deck is also playing, uh, there's two one-drop elementals. There's one that just, like, gains you three life when it comes into play. And there's a Lorwyn red one that tutors an elemental to the top of your library. Okay that both aren't in here. And the heart of that deck is actually a 2-1 with haste that when it attacks, you can return a creature with toughness equal to its power. Right. Like, that's the big part of the deck, but okay. there's, there's like six hits in this because it's singleton, right? Right. Anyways. 
Cavern of Souls, I'll choose Vampire. Shocked. I'll use the white mana here to cast Maverin Fane, Dusk Apostle. This is a 2-2 Vampire Cleric that says whenever one or more non-token vampires you control attack, make a 1-1 white vampire creature with lifeline. Very cool. And I'll hit you for three, I will uh, and I'll make a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I'll uh, block the Vampire sure. Hexmage, and then sacrifice it before damage to get myself a basic forest. Wait, wait. Waiting. <laughs> Entering no, that's, not, that's not faster. <laughs> okay. You gotta practice it at home first, sir. Yeah, yeah, yo, it's so slick. You gotta put the reps in to like smoothly staircase your deck or whatever. If anybody in here has ever played against AP, you know exactly what it, what it is. It's just like, hold on. Hold I on. also think that the, the perfect fan is the exact nice. sleeves you have matter too. Dang it. Oh, pretty close. Oh, hey, you there we basic, go. Though. I there found it. Go. Perfect. <laughs> it's all perfect. Yeah, you maybe. have to not mind showing your entire deck to your opponent. Yeah, well, he that. does it so fast too. It's it's like a card trick. It's it's like a magician's trick, right? When they yeah. when they perfectly fan the deck out. Um, so I get hit for one. I'll go to seventeen. All right, you've made a I vampire. Made a one, one. Yeah. Okay. I made a vampire. I'm trying to make some sort of Maverick fan joke. This bit sucks. Go, Serge. <laughs> Have a turn. Escape, escape. Yeah, abort, abort. All right, uh, Flooded Strand. Okay. And I'm going to cast, actually, factually, a different elemental that we haven't seen. There we go, it's the happening. Whole time. It's the happening. whole time. Well, technically, it's an elemental shapeshifter. Unsettled Mariner is on the field. Good enough. What does this do again? Unsettled Mariner is a two mana 2 2, and whenever one or more permanents that I control become the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, counter that spell unless they pay an additional one. Okay. Your creatures have Ward 1 from spells. My creatures have Ward 1 from spells, correct. Cool. cool. Uh, then I am going to, I'm going to shortcut. I'm going to crack this, go to 16, and cast uh, three visits. Sure. So I'm going to find a, I had a green source open there. So I'll land off of this in a triome. Sure, that's fine. And. Or wait, is that, yeah, that's right, isn't it? You, yeah. you cast this with that, and now you're casting three visits. Wait. Sorry, so you cast to... this first, right? Yeah. With the planes and the duel, and I left the forest untapped. Oh, okay. I well, see. I have the mana for it, or I can find a green source. No, no, you're good, two. you're good. Okay. Well, you just... Oh, yeah, you can find the triumph with the three visits. That's well. what I'm saying. Yeah, great. Okay, great. Yeah, because I don't have anything else to do with one mana Sorry. at the end of my turn here. I confused the way you pointed. That's cool. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to find a triumph points. and go to you. Untapping. Drawing a card. Ketra. Well, chat's telling me that it's not speller abilities. I don't understand. It says speller ability on the card. It's not ward, is what it's not. Whenever you or you or a permanent you control becomes the target of speller ability, and opponent controls counter that speller ability unless this controller pays one. I think we understand how this card works. Yeah, it's I, it's you or a permanent you control. That's good. I keep the, you keep sounding like you're saying speller abilities. Like, oh, what, I see. What, which are the spell or a, abilities? A spell or ability. Yeah. There's many words in that sentence. And they're all so bad for me. Um, let's cast a black creature. This is my shocked face. We'll make air, to, air of Falcon Wrath. Give... So how does... Oh, I see. Share a color with it. Okay. So even giving Mavern Fane uh, Intimidate here doesn't help. That's so sad. Okay, well, we'll give Shadow Alley Denizen the Intimidate, and then, yeah, I'll just attack with all of these. That's fine. Mavern has no fear. We'll make another one. I think I'm supposed to trade with Mavern just to stem the bleeding here a little, because it's good. a vampire deck. Good, uh, good blow joke. That's right. I'll take three. I go to 13. Okay. Go ahead. Untap, untap, untap. Draw. Interesting hit. Interesting hit. Zuranorb, Titania. <laughs> Interesting hit. Hmm, hmm, what should I do here? Hmm, hmm. Oh. No, it's not, it's not. It's I already not. have a Zuranorb in play. Uh, I'm going to Eladrami's Call. Okay. And I'm going to get... Probably not the best card in my deck, but the one I've wanted to cast the whole time. Risen Reef Resolves. Risen Reef, yes, thank you. No problem. Oh, maybe it's supposed to be Spellseeker, but no Risen Reef. I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting Risen Reef. 
another honorary elemental, yeah. right? By the way, so time walking your deck. So in all of the seven games I played with Wheeler, yeah. I didn't have a single Green Sun or a Ladaramri Skull, like no card tutors or anything to like a different half of my deck decided to show up. I'm gonna ask him how to shuffle your deck later. <laughs> he yeah. never cut my deck. Oh never. He okay. never once cut my I'm deck. Swearing off. Yeah. You're good. All right, uh, so when this enters the battlefield, when it or another elemental enters the battlefield under your control, look at the top card of your library. If it's a land, you may put it onto the battlefield tapped. If you don't put that card into play, you may put it into your hand. So I look at it, I reveal it. You reveal it if you want, right? Wait, or... oh, I don't have to reveal it. It's if a land it goes into play, if not, it goes into my hand. Yeah, you have to reveal it if it's a land and you want to put it into play. Secrets. That's all. Secrets. But yeah, it draws cards. So it's an illustration. Yeah, go to you. With upside. I'm never blocking with this, by the way. <laughs> Great. I'm fine with that. Um, Classria Highborn. Yes. I'll give Heir of Falkenroth Intimidate. And okay. Hit you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Uh, seven, yeah. I go to two six. Plus two plus one plus one plus one. And it's back to you. All right. Untap, untap, untap. Fascinating. All right, let's start it off with a voice okay. of Resurgence. Risen Reef Trigger. Into my hand it goes. Surge is spelled wrong here, actually. <laughs> voice of Remesigence. <laughs> uh, how does this work? Whenever an opponent casts a spell during your turn or when it dies. I was hoping I could maybe flicker the voice of Resurgence, but that's not how that works. Mm, no. It not when it leaves play. They saved that templating for one more set after this one when they put Drag Tusk in. Can I live through an attack? I, I think I do. I have enough blockers now, which is good. Which is good. I do have this. What does that do? It drains you. What? Sorry, I played it in an earlier game. Whenever close your heart or, or another vampire you control is put into the graveyard, you may pay a black. Um, is it one event or is it per vampire that you can do per it? Per vampire, What? Yeah. Oh, that's so bad for me. It's okay, you won the first two games. Yeah, that's fair. Um, so next turn, let's pretend I have a removal spell. Next turn, I get to block one, two, three creatures. I take one, two, three, and then you have one, two, three ways to kill me. Okay, so I have to keep going here is what you're telling me. I am what we in the industry call dead on board. Okay. Right? Big dobs. Big dobs in the house. Got such a cool hand though. I must be able to do something better here. All right, there's only one way to draw ourselves out of this, and that is to evoke Mole Drifter. All right, that's an elemental. Right? Good to see you, Sparkle. Bob. How cool is this? All right, so when it comes into play, draw two cards. So I have draw two cards and right this trigger. trigger the same thing, and I guess it doesn't really matter. Or did you do this trigger? Yes, I did, and it wasn't okay. a land, oh, that's and right, that's, that's this right. card okay, in my great. hand. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Sorry, it's been a while. So yes. I'm going to look. Okay, Risen Reef first. Yeah, I miss, and okay. I'm going to draw okay. two, which is a land. I hate everything. <laughs> Wheeler, it's working already. <laughs> uh, this dies, and then I'm going to play the land for the turn, which is this Ravduel, which is tapped. And maybe you miss, le miss lethal. We'll see. Uh, go ahead. Okay, I should have done this last turn, but I'll discard Martyr of Dusk. To Air of Falcon. Oh, and make it bigger. Turn it into Air of the Night or Air to the Night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I should have done that. Would have been amazing if Risen Risk hit like Ephemerate or something like that, right? Right? I'll cast Blood Artist. Oh my. <laughs> oh, we did! Uh, I'll go to combat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. I no. only left one black open to pay for Class Tree Highborn. But yeah, we've got a 3 2 flying, 3 1 oh, 1s, flying. and 2 2 power 1s. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm dead. I had a cool hand though. Okay. So like the stuff I was looking for, I had Omnath, but I didn't. I didn't have a land to go with it. Right. So that's why I didn't play it. If I had a fetch land, absolutely, that's coming down because there might be some shenanigans well, here. When you have the reef down, you're supposed to play Omnath and just trust. Yeah, but I, I missed like four times in a row. So that's why I went for the small card first because no, I don't know. I don't know. Fine. You're fine. Endurance and subtlety both didn't do anything here. Like I could have played one of them instead of evoking Mold right. Drifter, but okay. I did. And then all the cards that I hit instead of lands were like Course of Crufix and Noble Hierarch and stuff like lands that. Adjacent cards. Yeah, the enough. Flicker Wisp didn't quite get to do anything cute, but might have. Okay. I'm dead! Well, yeah, my deck obviously didn't interact, interact too much. We just put our, our foot down and attacked. I did have a Hymn to track, but there never was a window where it seemed more exciting than playing another creature. Yeah, and 
I guess one of the big differences in these two matchups was I didn't get decimated by removal. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you cast a removal spell. And I had that. I, yeah, I just kept playing creatures. I yeah. had that one turn where I could have vindicated your your crucible, but I right. was like missing land drops and just wanted to have enough pressure. No, you had Liliana as well that one game. That's true. Yeah, but I, I only had Wood Elves. Yeah. So and then I just kind of like Titania. You had. Yeah, if you didn't want to kill me, I could have used. Uh, <laughs> or no, I did. I used uh, Liliana to try to remove your Titania. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I only took forty five instead of getting attacked for fifty. And if you like getting attacked for fifty. Then I recommend you go get get yourself go on down, get your keyboard out, and tip de tapity on over to cardkingdom.com forward slash LRR and buy the worst deck that you can think of so that you always get crushed. Um, but if you like good winning, sales pitch, good sales pitch. You know they have they have bad cards too. They tend to be cheaper. Um, <laughs> But absolutely, if you want to win, you can buy the good cards too. You can buy whatever you want. They sell all kinds of magic cards. They're great. And if you let them know we sent you, they'll send you a little one-inch button. If you say button, please, that currently says a constitutional monarchy of cards. It's true. That's what we live every day. We do. We live every day. And we also, every day, we live um, on the backs of your good graces at patreon.com forward slash loading ready run. We really appreciate it. Uh, everybody who helps us out in any way you want and if you haven't done that yet and you'd like to you can do it for like I think as little as a, a dollar a month or something like we've got a real, it all helps we got a real sliding scale there whatever you want to throw in the patreon tip jar we appreciate it, it helps us pay our bills and keep getting to do this wacky content so for myself Serge Paul on tech Alex and Wheeler thanks so much for watching have a great night